set up one! Alright, alright, alright. We got the classic. Alright, so we got Mart Samus. Uh I I look you don't know who should be favorite here. Um James is of, of course, see the better. Uh, yeah, Sharky's been practicing. It's just a, it's just a grind. Dish. Sharky's been practicing a little yeah. bit. You know, he's he's homies with some good players. For the uh, to set the scene, this is the very first tournament of the semester. So. Oh yeah, first tournament of the semester, first tournament back in two open. years. Yeah, yeah. IRL. It feels so weird to be back at this one. Awesome. Yo, fun fact. You know who won the last IRL uh, Millersville Weekly? I don't. Me. Nice. Me. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Whoop, whooped on pancakes twice. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, he pancakes. That's the call out. Where are you at? Imagine uh, show up next time. Imagine oh, you're at home. Still I've called this out like two or three times. Not two or three times. So many times on stream that I've beat pancakes in that one tournament. So like pancakes probably just like tunes in. Like here's <laughs> that, and then just immediately here's that goes ah not again. It's Jesse again. Yeah, I wonder if I could get us streaming. Actually. Yeah, I would. We, if you could use the voice. Okay, do you want to just record this match and then? Yeah, I got it recording, so we're here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll problem solve between sets. Uh, this one will be off stream, but on recording. Um, but we got James with a pretty good lead. Right? As, uh, you know, Mark, we're both Mark players. When I think of this matchup, I just think Frozen Stadium definitely better for Samus because they can spam missiles. I don't see Sharky using the missile tech too much. I really feel like as Samus, you can just sort of keep Mark away from you. And that's kind of a good thing. You can choose, like, what you want to pick your game. It's funny, because I kind of think this is bad for Samus. Really? Yeah, yeah, like the... Like the ground in neutral, I feel like Samus wants the flats. Um, and the low ceiling really fucks her. Like, she dies to up to like 90 on the stage. It's really bad. Okay, so I'll give it a little lead. Nice. And this is kind of what I was talking about. Like, historically, James has been honestly a threat to beat anybody in these tournaments for a long time. You know, the last Samus to play in 717, John Picado. Habaleko. Habaleko, he played Samus too. Habaleko played Samus. I never after played the Zelda. Samus. Really? Yeah. Damn, he must have been inactive for a little bit. Yeah, that was dark times. So yeah, it's good to see a Samus in bracket. Mm -hmm. That's been a first one. We are just recording this one. We're after the, the yeah, after the set, we'll get the stream up. I wonder how. Oh, our audio levels are all fucked up. I changed the. I actually did some test recording, so I. I you did? Yeah. You think we're okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I won't fuck with it then. <laughs> we can listen to this recording too. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, Sean, I was talking about how we can actually get this set up to stream. Uh, I don't know if you have, like, Millersville Smash stream stuff, but if not, I can just set it up on the RTV stream. I do. It's on <laughs> We're just recording. No, yeah, no rush. We'll have it in your free time, have it ready, and we'll put it up between sets. But right now, Shargi is we come back James's to ass. So, I, yeah, he it looks like he's using the missile. It's so close. <laughs> <laughs> he's backing up. Yeah. Oh, you know, I mean, as far as this matchup goes... Is this, oh, no, okay, that's a rough okay, one. Okay. I think a side beat instead of a down beat by accident. Yeah, yeah. There's or I mistimed it. Has this been played off off bracket? Is this like a common? These guys don't play. No, okay. these guys don't play at all. Um, so a lot of feeling each other out. Okay, that was good maybe a little, a few more nerves. Yeah, maybe Mark, he's going a lot in the air. As Mark, if you want to stay, stay as grounded as you can versus Samus. Yeah. Try to get the air on the other mm -hmm. Yeah. He's um, playing a good aggressive game though, just barely spacing his attacks out. Yeah, I think James has the ability to, to really slow it down. Right, we got a full charge shot. But it's gonna happen. So like even if James, I think, is is maybe right now skill-wise a little bit better than Chargy, I think Chargy's a bit of a style counter. Yeah. Uh, from hours and hours of experience playing Chargy, oh. the way you really throw him off. Oh my god, okay. he doesn't have much of a shield really left, so that. I think that, that had to be an up tilt, right? <laughs> no combo. Me too. Oh, okay. and as we look up, he takes it with the F-Smash. It's 1-0. Uh, Just like that, dude. 
Hello, Teach. That was damn close, though. I'm probably going to Dreamland. Wow, I haven't seen this, like, layout of the stages. Yeah, this is uh, 1.03. Oh, so shit. We got the... No turning on all the extra stuff. <laughs> this is with, like, the... Uh, you could remap the buttons and the sticks. Oh, shit. This is, like, perfect... Shaggy Z, Z per jumping? Perfect UCF. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so the counter pick for Samus is empty, which is weird because this is again most Samus stage, players, yeah, yeah for the platforms to be able to use this. Yeah, something I actually like about Shargi a lot is that he's not a character uh, stage counter picker, but he's a player stage counter picker. Okay, so he feels better about not having platforms for his team. Yeah, yeah, he's just kind of comfortable in FD. I can see that yeah. because his ground space game is pretty good. Yeah. It's just hard because Samus, <laughs> Samus doesn't have a lot of tools to punish, even if you do good spacing. Yeah. And I mean... Lots of smart shot there. That's true. Like, her punish game isn't that crazy, but her edge guards on Marth, really good. Yeah. Um, but the real big thing here is that Andy's punish game, and I think a lot of players can take from this, Andy's weakness is probably his punish game. He's not going to hit hard anywhere. So, he's not thinking of stages the way that, like, a top player or, like, a fully rounded player would think of him. He's thinking of it as he is, right? Like hey, this guy brought this. He, he brought him to the tournament, and now this. He's this kind of just so the, the audience knows. I, I, think it's, I think it's good. I'm, I'm not even flaming him right now. Like, I think he's he knows himself. I see. So, he's, uh, he's playing based on that. No. One thing he could be doing if he ends up watching this back is that little bomb drop near the ledge. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, you bracket. Sam. I was like, where is this guy? Oh, dang. Sam, they had you seated to play Andy. I reshuffled it. I was like, no shot. <laughs> oh, no shot. That's happening on my watch. I, not a lot of people. I'm double boosted and whatever, you know. Okay. Ooh, almost off the top. So this is... We actually have more melee setups than we can even use. Down throw nair? It's crazy. Nice. That almost looked like Andy reacted me <laughs> saying down throw nair. He's like, oh yeah, that's the, that's the follow-up. Oh, okay. It's been yeah. kind of... You know, free ball these charge shots. Just kind of brand a little hit. There are combos you can do. It's, it's interesting. Awesome. Especially on Mark. Like, especially such a floaty character. Samus has a lot of like little one-two hit combos that you can learn. Yeah. It makes it really frustrating. Up tilt yeah, into it, no down throw into it. Oh, that was really good. Oh, Could I tie that roll a little bit better right here? Yeah, yeah. Just keep refreshing. You can drop down with a pair there while Samus pops up. <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> These little pussies. I'm trying, I'm trying very hard to look. I, I want to know how my boy's feeling. <laughs> but I'm trying to look at him through the player cam and not in real life so as to keep him in the zone. I see, I see. Does he make oh, a little okay. fucking comeback? That's, That's no jump. jump. Oh, he doesn't grab the oh he's not quite confident enough in his movement that, yeah. to think he can get the ledge there. I know he knows that's that that's what he's doing. He can't turn around easily. Yeah. Oh, got okay. the double jump again. So once again, Andy up, one stock. Oh. Let's see, he's got the charge shot. Let's see. Oh my god. Goes. I can't believe he got it in the corner there. Yeah, I think that's all. Oh, nice. Okay. This time he big 25. holds it. So I want to see Omega Xmas. Was that the <laughs> tag? I feel like I've read that Because Mega Xmas yeah. in uh, oh, Cali. Oh yeah. But yeah. I think Teach could be going off stage a little bit more against Samus. There's not really much Samus can do to threaten. Ooh. Off stage. Yeah. Like the only thing is like you're afraid maybe that you get hit by a down air, but those are so fucking slow that yeah. it's Any not just gonna pop one on you. Yeah. Okay. And he's tacking on a lot of percent here. And he's catching James in, in shield a lot. He's forcing. That's, I feel like something that's really Samus is good at is forcing you to shield the approach. Yeah. He's getting the missile. Yep. And he's really good at playing that mix up. He's been pairing a lot of missiles and just kind of taking the shield. Yeah. So he's not yet established the mix up or how many color he's going to hit. Exactly. So Andy can just shoot that missile and go up and grab him a lot of the time. Oh, he's got the double jump. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's right to the tipper. Mm -hmm. Shargi, Shargi maybe been uh, drifting in a little early, and James called that out there. It seems like his game like, the most part is that getting grab and getting down. Yeah. With Samus. Uh, yeah. It feels like Teach is kind of sussing that out a bit. 
He's like, I'm just gonna hit you with. Ooh, okay, there you go. Yeah, he shoots the missile and falls out the approach. Yeah, he's changing it up. He changed it up that time. He's shooting one before he landed. He's shooting another one. Oh, gets the big 25. That's two in a row. He's hit. Maybe that's getting in the mind of TJ. Okay, three dash attacks. Oh, the bomb saving him. Good up, Okay. Both of them just kind of straight hitting each other to death here. Oh, there's a huge sail. <laughs> so yeah, good good of Sam to take center stage again. This is exactly where you want to be. Oh, God. Oh, he's playing near the edge a little bit. Yeah, he's a little, uh, he almost cornered himself there. And James is almost, like, kind of letting him out. He's just not he's taking that space. Oh, my God. That's big. Sorry, just, Sam is charging. He's going to grab him. And he wanted to punish that double jump so bad, but he just, just couldn't space out that forward air. Okay, no jump on the Samus. Uh oh. F smash. Okay, barely. Good sweet spot by Andy. Oh, tense. Oh man. Shotgun. Oh, that's a jump again. Yeah, he's still got grapple. At least he should. Sometimes I'm wrong. Oh my god, he's back. That was a really good recovery. That was so sick. I've actually never seen him do that. Okay, get some of the missile. Maybe looking out for that early up double jump. Didn't quite get it. Up with an air, oh, it's a dash grab into the corner there. It was so fucking gutsy. He took it! Oh no, he oh, didn't get there! An yeah. He was holding forward. He knows with. Oh. Both at 140. Got this. Oh, James just oh, trying okay. to run up, smack him. Almost in the Hancock percentage. Yeah, yeah the up there not on. quite killing. Oh, he gets him with the tipper. Oh. That's about as close to 2 0 as you can get. That's Teach over Shargi. 2 0. Uh, Could you guys hear us? A lot. Did you guys hear us? Okay. Good. Okay. Jesse says good, but uh, he's it not playing in this bracket. Here's what it is. You're gonna hear commentators. You're at a fucking local. Look at this room. Stream can't. Stream can see the room. Look no at one else was watching melee except these two guys. All right. You wanna figure out the stream key thing? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what we got? Right, I'll be back to the commentary. Uh, Cause that was an all-time classic. Watch the matches. All-time classic. <laughs> Let's look at the bracket. Oh, we're looking at the bracket? Yeah. You got it. Do you want to do over to get the Fuck yeah. It's a fox to Yo, table! Plus, plus we can kind of hold on to the stream until... Uh, we can hold on to this, like, hold the set until we get the stream going, too. So that's a nice way to nice way to do it. We're not gonna have two people breathing down our necks. Yeah, no. I One's best to five star. Uh, I think I think the ultimate they were gonna do um, all winners or like sorry not all winners. All um, winners semis. Uh, they, I think they're just like like Evo does where it's like all top uh, three. Yeah, top three is all winners. Okay. Um, I think for us we can probably start it at winner semis if you haven't decided yet. Yeah, that's fine because I it, there's still a bit of, to go until then, so that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I in all honesty, I, w I would like to have you in. <laughs> um, I can call something though, just to have it on. Yeah. Um, is Nova here? Yeah. Sam. Yeah. That's Nova. Yeah. Do you want to do Nova versus Bonds? Yeah. Who's the Bonds? <laughs> Yeah, the Fonz. We're, we're between you and the Fonz or the kitchen table and Whiplash on stream. You played well. Yeah, come back. Yeah, you did. The, well, the forward air was in there, right? You had that game. You had that game one. You can beat him. Nova Fuzz. He's right here. Uh, I already reported yours. Oh, I was supposed to have. Hold on a sec, sorry. Okay, what's up? Uh, Rob Fox is Argo. 
Yeah. Have you seen Shark Yeah, he's here. John! Did you hear that, Rob? You're playing Shark I don't know if it's on stream. I think we're having a different set on stream. I don't I don't think it's on stream. I don't I don't think it's on stream. I I'm not deal. Shot! <laughs> You and Table on stream, right? You and Table on stream? Yeah, it's all good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, boy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And he's good now, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sean, what's the stream? What's the uh, stream? Yeah, we were going to look up this, the stream oh, login. Uh, oh, yeah. I love not being the one in his position. He's so stressed. Look at him. <laughs> so... I've lived with Jesse for like two years so I went to all of his tournaments. Uh -huh. You're doing perfectly fine. Thank you. You're doing great. Yeah. It does make me feel better. Hundred percent. Um log in here. Yeah. D DJ had it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give me give me a sec though, let me get the streaming. Yeah. Table all of a sudden turns fifteen and he thinks he can boss me around. <laughs> Table was unrecognizable. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, it crazy. It looks it's Millsville Mills Smash 2? 2? Uh, I think we're one. Yeah. Which one are they on is what I'm wearing. <laughs> Kick their asses off. Take all the 30 12 year olds watching you. Yeah, you guys are funny. Watch this shit. We're one. Okay. Damn right we are. Um, wait, where is it then? We have two here. <laughs> I'm stressing it out. <laughs> this is two. Stealing viewers. <laughs> I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to call out to him, like, hey, no worries, man, we can use first time. No, I already, yeah. met, I already met you, he's like, ah, oh, let me find the village no stream, and I'm like... Already hacking the main <laughs> I got it set up to go. Hey, what's up? Nope, okay. I forgot his name the first time I saw him. Sean? Oh, James. <laughs> Did you say him and pointed at me? <laughs> Did I not, like, play tournaments with you for four years? Sorry, pal. I got 900 kids' names remember yeah. school. Right? That's true. You would think you would have that muscle exercised, or do you do you have like 900 slots? And James is like James is like James is like he's, take, he's taking up too much room in my mental file. Well, I was told he was not. You know what these kids say to me? They're like, you don't remember my. Name. All right, yeah, I'll log into it. Okay. And I'm not trying to hurt the kids. I did case management for a couple of years. Yeah, I do remember a lot of names. I remember years. We have 1,800 kids. I had like 40 clients. <coughs> but like, you know. Wait. I can't log into my Twitch account either. Because this is a different phone, so I can't dual. Only suckers have two-factor authentication. I did you Twitch sets it up for you. I was gonna <laughs> log in to raise the bar. <laughs> Cause um, I don't know it. I don't know Millersville's. If you can't log in, you can just record it and Yeah. Yeah, we'll record it. It'll go to YouTube. <laughs> 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 
Let me update the thing and then yeah. Can I what? I don't know, and I'm scared too. Does that make sense? I'm never writing his full tag ever. Why would I? But you you don't have an easy cool ac Yo table! What's your tag? Damn. Okay, I got it. Oh, okay, I'll do that. I care for you. We had a whole thing. You guys are ready to go. I like dirt bags. I told you I whooped on Weeb Wizard online, right? That was a faker. He that wasn't the real Weeb Wizard? Life, are you know. sure? What if he's like slipped into darkness? Also, get up here, they can't hear you. Alright, then do, do things right. So, real shit. I've never seen Sean play. I've never <laughs> fucking seen Sean play. This is also the first day I met him. I was. Dude, he, uh. Wait, is TKT actually the blue one? He is, isn't he? Yeah. All I know is Wait, he, Sean's crazy. All I know is kitchen <laughs> tables and that. Sean's been grinding. I think that's good. Because when I said... When I said I'd never seen Sean play before, that's a goddamn lie. I saw him play while he was still ass. So I might as well have never seen him play. You know what I mean? That makes sense. I don't like the immediate stock off. It's scary. I do, what's up? What? Dude, that is the hardest person to see in this whole room. Rob. Yeah. He's so fucking hard to see. Alright, back to the action and Sean's up four stocks. Is that first seed? Sean's up a stock. Um No. Was I close? No. Okay. You weren't far. You were a mid seed. I seeded you like I was seeding myself. And by I seeded actually, you, I mean. That's, that's actually nice. I mean, Sean seeded you, and then I looked at it, and where he had you was about where I would have myself, so I didn't complain. Uh, the only person he had too low was Rob. That was the only, like, flaw in the seeding. And nobody fucking knows how good Rob is anymore, because enter he enters, like, two tournaments every decade and wins them. Okay, Sean's He's getting stuck in his a lot. It might just be like nerves. Jitters. Yeah. I, like maybe nerves, but also maybe the TKT effect. He doesn't miss anything. Like sometimes he'll make bad decisions and like run in and get hit, but he. But he always but does he, what he, he means can, to. When he commits to something, he doesn't really Yeah, and that's what's so stressful about playing table. Yeah. Is that you see him executing perfectly, and you are not perfect because you're not the kitchen table. Yeah. So you go, oh shit, how do I... I'm, I'm scared, what if I mess up? Then I'm worse than him. Playing Fox Ditto <laughs> with him is a nice juxtaposition. I, I can't I can't Fox Ditto him. Yeah. You guys definitely do have like a... A fun like style matchup. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a middle ground between you two. You yeah. guys did like the fusion dance, you get me. Yeah, that's I hear. Yeah. And for some reason in the fusion dance, you both lost your reflexes. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, why we're just like worse now, what happened? Oh, he still does the table. What was the table? Well, he gets near the edge and then has a, a really good position and then makes it a bad position by charging a smash attack. I like that. It's trash. Don't yeah, encourage but, him. But it's cool. He could be so much better. It's not even cool. I think it's cool. It's cool if he does it like... On a read, you know what I mean? Did you see his SDI? Yeah, that was unreal. He didn't like move for a couple of seconds and then he like. Look at his hand! Look at his hand next time he gets hit. His left hand. It's ridiculous. He'll start like smacking his control. No, he, he wiggles so fast. I have old man joints. I can't do that. He, he's gonna have old man joints sooner <laughs> than we did. <laughs> that makes sense. Hiya! 
Did you ever dream of being fast? No, not once. <laughs> I've never even thought about I very being much, fast. I very much enjoy being a turtle. Whiplash played really good. He did. Whiplash is way better than I remember. Honestly, I'm way better than I expected, given how much time he's been playing. It's ridiculous. When did he start? He was playing before COVID. Um, it's it's the fact that like if if you're playing before COVID and he was like not fully a melee player before COVID, right? Yeah. So like he like could he could just barely like do the movements. It felt like. Um, but it's weird. I, I think if COVID never happened, he'd be way better right now. Because he clearly was going to grind tech like skill. That was nuts. Oh! Get him, Sean! Really good stock. I'm going to say something negative again. Yeah, um, trash him. <laughs> he's doing too well. Yeah. Um, I feel like he's the type of person that practices a single player a lot. Because he keeps going drill, shine, and jab. Um, right, right, right. Jab's he... never going to hit the kitchen table. Not once. <laughs> no, it, because... It'll, it'll hit the level 1 CPU you practice against. But the level 1 CPU you practice against isn't inputting 7 uh, SDI inputs in, like, yeah. 2 frames. <laughs> And like teleporting like it's a toss video. I've also only said negative things so far, so we're gonna stop. I think our negative things have been like in the context that he is surprisingly way better than yeah, we thought he would true. be. Like he is so good. Kitchen table doesn't teach there, which is the uh, jab to short hop. Uh, up there. Okay, reaction. Nice. Oh, he reacted, but he good. got like this shitty uh, thing where you're like drifting too far left. Yeah, yeah. No, I do that plenty of times. Feels so bad. Ooh! Invincibility! Table didn't think about it. Sean did. No jump. Oh, jump. I'm wrong. Oh my god, he grabbed him? And then killed him. Dude, this is a fox hitter against the table. He's doing super well. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, I think he read that roll. That'd be pretty oh, crazy to just that. drill Tomahawk and then run forward. It's like, that'd be... Oh, it looked like you read it, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was just movement. A little, little flub at the edge there. Um, this is definitely looking like somebody who's going to get results in, like, two months. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's all there. All the pieces are there. And he's just got to, like, realize that he's clearly good enough to beat these people. Because it's just inevitable when you've been in a, a scene long enough that you're going to think, like, the people above you are like unbeatable and unreachable and then all of a sudden you're good enough to beat them but you don't think in your head you're good enough yet. That's kind of where he feels like he's at. Has he done in-person tournaments before? Do you know? Is he... He's entered... Sean, how many in-person tournaments have you entered? Like Melee? Uh, this is probably like my fifth. Is it like your fifth? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Dude, you're so good. What the hell? Have you been grinding? Uh, a little bit here and there. Nice. Like, I remember, like, for this, I was, like, sitting in this guy's office with all the CRT on the floor. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Look at him. Oh, yeah, sure. I don't have to do anything. I don't think I'm going to get over it. I'm having so much fun. Don't ask me for shit. I need the shirt. Don't ask me for shit. Oh, you're not. I am now. Send it. Did this start yet? Do you know? Mushi and Nomix? No. Mushi and Mr. F are playing friendlies over there. Okay, I've got a round one going on still. Oh, what the hell? I don't care. I think. I don't think that guy actually Rob, you feel like find Kelby a house yet? I was finding Kelby a house. <laughs> nice. He told me he was being difficult. Yeah. Who are these people? Yeah, Soap was waiting for a The fact that I can wait, who wears Soap? Glasses and plaid shirt? Uh, so like, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. So, how 
Yeah. Are we putting Mushi and Namix on stream? Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Why aren't you helping? I asked. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, come up an excuse for your bad behavior, real quick. I'll wait. I'll go find one. Hold on. Save my seat. the perfect balance. Did you have them uh, up on like the layout yet? You're such a piece of shit, dude. I've never... No, it's fine. Stop judging me inside. <laughs> what do you mean, ins? <laughs> Can I do it outside? I actively hate Go ahead. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Frozen Stadium starter. Frozen Stadium starter. Yeah. Where's Impale? Oh, there he is. Suck it. Oh, shit. Damn it. I'm not gonna ruin their stream like that. <laughs> I want like a rainbow greeting. Okay. So. I know we should really good now. Namix is um, a competent Falcon. He's gonna be able to move, he's gonna be able to combo. Um, his, I don't think his head is in competing the way that Mushi's is. Um, so it, yeah, Namix is here, and and self admitted last week to me when I was playing friendlies with him, Namix is here to make a fucking clip. That's his mindset, which I think is a fucking sick ass mindset actually for competing. Ironically. 
Yeah, there's always one dude that wants to get your ass. Alright, quick one for Mushi. Uh, Namix? Low-key, the reactions looked a little good. Was that like two two tech chases in a row that he had? Yeah, no, that was good. Like, on reaction? Just winner semis. No. This is not winner semis. I'm gonna take the round name out of it. Uh, cause we're never gonna change that. Wait, is that... Okay, I thought that was fucking... Is this an image? <laughs> I was amazed. Dude, it's it's jank, but in the way like the layout's jank, but in the way that I would make it jank, I, like it looks like something I made. Where it's just like, uh, fucking throw some text on here. There's a Millersville logo. Everything else is whatever. I like that Mochi rolled in again after getting uh, hit twice by the update. Yeah. Like unironically. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Like the so I'm, he won't fucking do it again. I'm up. I'm gonna hit you when you're coming back. So yeah. Scary. Yeah, Mushi's um suffocating. I think is a good word for it in this yeah. matchup. Yeah. This is a, this is a tough draw for Nomix. Um, but I assume him being here means he won his round one. Yeah. So good for him. Did Mushi not ban? Oh, he counterpicked Yoshi's? So you remember that, what was the word I used just now for... I'm here to make it clear. No, what was the word I used just now for Mushi? Here to win. Suffocating. Oh yeah, that's another one. Not a lot of room to breathe well, against so the I, suffocating player Let's here. play like devil's, devil's advocate here. Um, less opportunities to lazy. This is true. And that might be going through his head too. Yeah. Also, the clip thing. Definitely might be going through his head. Yeah. This is a good counter pick to clip a motherfucker. Oh. Okay. Oh, he tried to Richie him. I feel like Richie's on autopilot a little bit. A lot of his yeah. pressure is not safe. No, he's just. He's doing his Mushi thing. Yeah. His Mushi thing. No. Oh, no. Mushi's not playing Falcon. No, I said Falco. Oh, Falco? Yeah. yeah. You can see where I went wrong. I think... I don't think I can. Okay. That was a good idea. That looked like it was about to work. Oh, we read him. There's, there's levels sometimes, you know? Sometimes you get leveled. I'm getting leveled by Mushi. I'm getting leveled by at least three people in this room. Not include, uh, not James, because James is not one of them. My name's not James. Sorry, uh, Dirtbag is not one of them. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, he down aired him. He pressed down on the C stick there. Yeah, it, it could have, should have been side. He could have, yeah, he could have hit the, the left or the right, actually, either way. Um. Does Mucci go to big tournaments? What? Does he go to big tournaments? Never. Okay. Um, he just likes to bully us. That's his shit, yeah. I, li I like that. He's just a dude with a son who likes fishing and, and whooping on <laughs> kids in Super Smash Bros. Melee. It's kind of sick, actually. I wish I was like that. Me and Mushi are the same. Here Except for the son part, which is a fairly large thing. He's probably a better fish. That was a good thing. He's probably better at fishing. Uh, and better at melee than me, which is fucked up. I stopped eating meat for four years for a bad fishing trip. Did I ever tell you that? No. Because of a fishing trip? Yeah. As to Amushi, uh, Namix looked mad good. I would have gotten four stocked. Yeah, no, Mushi makes, good, but Mushi makes that matchup fucked up. Uh, you can, yeah. Hold on a sec. Let me report this game that just ended. Namix 2 0 Jesus. And I'm saying it that way because of how it's spelled. It's not just Jesus. Uh, Alright, how'd you do, Andy? Ah. Uh, it is a Millersville Weekly. That does happen. Who would say that? This is clearly not a character problem. 
Uh, this. Uh, so we can cover it on the bottom right of Valley. Go, wow, I hate snails. Immediately super wave dash, down smash, no, carry him off stage. Yeah, I told myself, I made a commitment. I'm not going to start on the people of the Dragon. Yes! Oh, win! Tonight. Win tonight. <laughs> After that, <done>. Eventually, <laughs> when I can consistently, Who's soap money? Okay, never mind. That's fine then. That one's running. George and Rob! Rob! On stream! Right there, brothers. Yeah, you. Do you hear the egos talking over there? No, no, that's it. They're talking about seeds. We're just recording. Rob Fuzz. Let me check. This isn't even winners semis. Okay, you're good, Andy. There's a bunch of good players. Yes, go for it. All right, so we got Rob on the sheet. Normally on the pH, right? We were, we were playing Fox Beach earlier. Yeah. Yeah. How'd it go for you? I won one. How many did you play? Five. It's not bad. They were all close. I feel like if you're winning 20% of the time, that means you could take a set. I disagree. You don't think you could? No, I think I could. But That's I what I'm like, saying. But I'm different. Oh, you're different. I'm, so like I'm, in a bad way. Yeah. So you built it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but Rob got the first time. I, I actually I had, had that. I also thought that was a zero for a second. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what happened in yeah. the last 40 seconds? Dude, I think mentally we have a similar problem. What's that? What you just said about being different in like a bad way. Yeah, but I was joking. I like genuinely never get nervous when I play. I think. You get nervous. I get nervous, but also. I think to myself when I see a bracket, like I see the bracket tonight, I go, I genuinely say to myself, I could beat all those players. And then I, I thought to myself on the way here, could I win this tournament? And I said, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, one of them's going to beat me. <laughs> okay, but Rob makes sense going chic. Yeah. Um, Peach Mart just isn't fun, even if you're good at it. Yeah, I feel like you gotta... Like, Rob's not, like, a Peach specialist. He just plays Melee and likes yeah, Peach. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I feel like you gotta have some shit if you're gonna win a Peach Marth matchup against some good Marth. Yeah. And these two players are... Like, genuinely could be the two best players in the room. They could be, right? Like, there's an argument. Like, Mushi's probably better than one of them. <laughs> That was a really good straight thing by George. Mm -hmm. Forgot the first name. You can just say the tag. In fact, it's better if you say the tag. It's a bad habit. I'm not saying the tag. Did you use their government? I'm just gonna start saying social security numbers to reference them. One seven go, three go seven. Ahead, make up a fake one and watch. Somebody and then just get, get somebody's get ass. DDoSed, yeah. It's so messed up. <laughs> it's funny too because I bet, given uh, given a, a combination of if, like if ten we, fake we, social security numbers sat, that I give, if I bet we sat you, here all night and just spouted random fake social security numbers. You could for figure out hours, hours. Yeah. By deduction, like I bet you could. <laughs> All right, that being said, uh, Rob looking good right now. He's doing really good of like, he's not going off stage to cover George necessarily. Yeah. But he's like covering his ground really well. Like, I'm going to adjust here if I need to back air. I'm going to go lower in case I need to grab ledge real quick. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting because that's like Sheik's thing. <laughs> Against Marth edge guarding, she can go mad low and like you just can't do yeah. any double jumps. You have to be a weirdo. It's the only character you can't like go low and just free double jump mix up timing. Yeah, yeah. 
George is swinging a lot. He is swinging. Most of our landing, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's close. George plays, um... George plays, like, a lot of set play, it feels like. You know what I mean? Like, he, yeah. he does that, like, early uh, forward air, and then he's like, okay, these are, like, the next three steps. Not to say he's predictable, but, like, he knows his mix-ups out of certain things. I can't believe that, that didn't work. Really that would have been awesome. Yeah. Now he's in uh, in the corner at high percent. Oh! Who falls faster? I think Martha's, like, a little lower. I think she falls faster. I thought he did, and that's why just, he got, like, Just so you guys know, it's the best three. I had to get that out there because they definitely think based on um, Rob one game one. They definitely based on the think based on the caliber of player that it's a best of five. Seven one seven is different than it was. It's no longer like that. Ooh. Big 80 right out the gate. It always feels so good to do forward air to falling up air. It just yeah. looks fancy, I guess. Yeah, it does. And I felt I had like a, a little streak of it working on everybody I played for a little bit, like four years ago. Yeah. And I've never let it go. And it stopped working on people because people hold down now. And not only are you not getting popped up, but also the up air doesn't hit when they're holding down because they're crouching. Just the worst of both worlds. It's even, so even, bad. Even if you do hit, it gets crowd canceled. Yeah. But I can't stop because when it works, you go, oh, it's so juicy. Like, I can do, like, at least two more moves here for free. We're just going on the. So true. Gotcha. The lower end of bracket is so difficult. I mean,. I think there's a bunch of players who are gonna go 0-2 or 1-2. That don't deserve it. That don't deserve it. Because the average skill level in the... Wow. The average skill level in the room is very high. For melee. I don't know about ultimate. No, I remember like walking into melee weekly before and it's like, okay, I'll get there tonight. You know? Yeah, it's not like that and, anymore. And it was like 22 people, right? Yeah. But it's not... I'm also worse. Like, I have not grown in this life. Yeah, I mean. yeah, and everybody's growing, yeah. and it's fucked up. And then the players that aren't growing are already, like... For what game? I don't... I don't call matches. That guy does. I was told to come back. That's okay. You're good. Yeah. Katie Hammer was playing... I could have helped him. I could have helped Sean. Just there. I followed your lead. I shouldn't have. I, I'm on a power trip of, like, not having power. It's kind of great. You want to hear something weird? Yeah. As soon as I got out of my car here, I yeah. immediately felt old. Because there were, like, fre like a, a group of, like, six freshmen hanging out. And I'm like, the only people that hang out in such large groups are either freshmen or sophomores. Yeah. And I'm, like, in presence of children. Yeah, you are. They are kids. Because I think in college, you don't realize that, like... So you meet, like, ten people all at once, right? Yeah. And you're, like, young. I have to, I have to stay with these people for the foreseeable future. I can't leave this group. Well, it's not just that, but, like, you're young and you're kind of optimistic. You're like, I'm, these are all my friends. I like yeah. these people. And there's just no way. <laughs> like, if you get a, a grab a you random group of... You're going to be disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to be real, you are. If you grab a random group of ten people off the street, even if they're my age, I'm not likely to be friends with any of them. Like, m the yeah. most likely outcome is I don't like these ten people. It's going to be like a one or two out of ten for me, for sure. Yeah. I haven't been commentating, but George has been kind of on a tear since game one. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, a conscious decision to not commentate George sets um, because he doesn't like hearing. You know what I mean? So I figured I would just have a conversation with you, and I think it's better. Okay, we well, can continue to do that. Yeah. 
And I'll mention I'll, what's I'll happening. Like, but I, I want to make sure, like, if somebody wants to, that I'm like saying something. Yeah, know, for sure. So they can watch it back later. No, I think I think this is better. Okay. I think this is better for both players. Oh, it's easier, so I'm glad. Nice. When was the last time you were in Millersville? At least three years. I was talking about going to the anchor. What a bad idea. I want to get anchor sushi and the mac and cheese. Stop. Why? Uh. I teach guys kind of charismatic. I'm actually probably gonna have you on stream. It's probably better. I think you and Mary would be good on stream. James, do you want to get your ship pushed in by Mr. F on stream? I've never Here's lost your a chance. Game. Put me on stream. It's gonna be two up. So yeah, you guys are on stream. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of you. I actually know who what? Yeah, do that instead of that's me. That's so much better. Yeah, do that. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's better. You wanna go play your map Sure, I can do that. Sam! I needed a replacement. Oh yeah. Yeah, James has to go uh, play his match. You want to talk to me about not melee? Yeah, I love you. Nice. Oh, nice. What's that? Yeah, you can report. Can you hop on? Hop on. If you're okay with it. Nice. Yeah, I was I was just trying to get a filler for like the next this game. All right, so that's a two-one for George. Let's go, George. Uh, we were kind of purposefully not talking about the game because you don't like to hear it. I got you. I knew that. I knew that I'm even adapting. coming into today. Shout out to the one time that you and I were less than five feet away talking about the game, and he was doing this. He didn't like that shit the whole time. He didn't like that shit. All right, but we got a heater on stream next. We got a on recording next. We have um, Nova Fuzz. Have you ever seen Nova Fuzz play outside of the... Actually, have you ever seen Nova Fuzz play? No. That's crazy. I'm just excited to see that. Nova Fuzz versus Mushi? Yeah, this hasn't happened in a minute. Well, I'm definitely... Oh, by the way, this is what the new updated OBS looks like. Shout out. It's crazy, dude. Know, it's like Mushi. <laughs> it's, so, it's like, it's so weird looking, even for me. Yeah. Falco Dittos? Should be Falco Dittos, yeah. Sam, uh, Nova Fuzz might switch to uh, Marth if this goes badly. Make sure you're up and like in in the business. Sorry, I'm only seeing that when I talk, it like goes crazy. Yeah, George told me, or I, I saw that immediately and I said, holy shit, the levels are fucked up. But George is like, yeah, I like recorded it. And then played it back and like messed with it and then recorded it again and sounds good. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna trust George. Okay, if George says this is good, then this is good. I trust him. <laughs> it and looks bad, right? Yeah, it looks so bad. It's red. Zero zero DB. Yeah. Without having seen Nova Fuzz play before, I obviously have rooting interest in Mushi just because we practiced last week, just played a couple of a uh, couple of sessions, couple of friendlies. And it's good because I got team. Sam. Yeah, okay, great. That's my boy. I'm like a Mushi fan, 99% uh, sets too. But It's cool that Nova Fuzz is out here. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to go tubing on a river tomorrow. Shout Sad. out. Wait, on the Susquehanna? No, Conestoga. Conestoga. Feels like the... Never mind. What I'm seeing so far is forgetting which one is which. Who's the Red Falca? I'm going to have to watch hands. I'm gonna assume that Mushi's vanilla. Just because red looks like Sam. But it's tough. They play yeah. similarly. They're e both equally moving around their hands so fast on their controllers. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even want to know how much effort it takes to get these characters to move like this. I'm so far away from this. <laughs> You're not that far. You'd be surprised. 
It all kind of clicks. Okay, a Mushi's vanilla. Okay, very good. And off to uh, a small lead so far. Mm -hmm. Able to get some nice percent getting, though. Getting bigger. Oh, watching out for the get up attack, which is a nice little get out of jail free if you're too anxious to rush in on Mushi's part. But Mushi with good patience. Ooh. And a nice forward smash to take that stock. Yeah, just let it rip. Still, still Falco Ditto, so in other words, stocks get blown up oh, every yeah. day of the week. Weird grab. And so even though I didn't see Nova Fuzz at the uh, at the Owl locals last fall, yeah, still looks like a very well practiced player. Or yeah, so Nova has Fuzz now, undies. Philly. Um, oh, okay, nice. Oh, that dash back into Dare was so tight. That was so good. Um, I think. Oh. <laughs> nah. Just let it rip. Not the table. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Sam. Nice. Kind of was like top three region um, when he was living here, going to, to school. Now, living in Philly, um, not entering tournaments as much, but like still looks like this because he plays, you know, friendlies on Netplay. Right. <laughs> yeah, if you get to play a little bit every week, then you can still keep a lot of it. But that's a nice two stock in favor of Mushi for game one. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Andy. You? Nice. Little loser, loser's run, brother. You got? You have Rob? What? What? Yeah. Get his ass. You're fine. The Marth is coming out, by the way. I don't know. Just get him. Oh yeah, yeah. So I kind of thought this might happen. Uh, Sam. Sam is a little susceptible to feeling like. Uh, somebody's a little too fast. Okay. Right, like he, he runs into a fast player, he feels like he uh, he needs to make a, a different decision on characters. It's tough. And, this has, and that's a rough zero to death as well, going from game one where you're playing a Falco, then you switch to Marth, and then you get zero to death. Yeah. Mushi, yeah, Mushi's really fucked up against Marth. He hits really hard. I will say one thing, um, if anybody starts calling Mushi out on gonna be an issue for him uh when he whiffs an aerial he spot dodges and i can't tell if it's on purpose i can't tell if he's whiffing aerials at ranges where he knows he can't get punished so he spot dodges and like you think he can get punished but keep an eye out for that that's where a lot of his openings are going to come from like that one you, can, you can't help but spot dodge part of the time as well yeah oh no that was so much pressure and working on a four stock right now yeah, Mushi's fucked up against Marth, like I said. <laughs> yeah, so, how does Jesse's Marth do against Mushi's Falco? I don't know. There's another spot dodge opening. Um, there used to be a little tier of players right below, like, the Georges and the Rob Foxes. Um, that kind of traded with each other. Used to be me, Mushi, and Pancakes kind of like in there and I was definitely the worst of that group but I would take games off of both of them or like sets off of both of them and that was kind of like the a tier of its own Mushi has differentiated himself from that tier and moved himself up to like the Rob Fox Peen Impale area Mushi making an early case to be one of the players to look out for in the top four winner side, although we're not there yet. No. We got uh, Mushi and Pale, though, and we just saw what Mushi does to Marths. So. Let's see. Who we got next? On stream next, so these two are already playing. We probably got a loser's match. Yeah? Interesting. Huh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, are Whiplash and Mary playing currently? No. No. Sean! You wanna play Mary on stream? It's a it's a spacey ditto. How much are you gonna hold up old bracket? Save my seat. Yep. You know, with eggs and... Uh,
if your shield button's sticking. Right, there's only like certain setups. Excuse me. Yep. Unplug it and plug it back in. Okay. That's how it works. Currently testing the setup on stream. What exactly does it involve in order to have in order to have That's tough, what are you gonna do? Are you going to play on stream versus uh, Mary? Sure. I'm not going Thank you. find you in the bracket. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, let me find you. Where did you go? Versus Hondo? Versus Hondo, 2-0 in your favor? Okay. Hondo is the tag that you, you were just playing against. Hondo versus Titch and Tango. Yeah, 2-0 in your favor. Fucked up that Connor didn't show up. Okay, so you're in winter semis. Does that mean does that mean best of five starting winter semis? Yeah, winter semis. Okay. Dang. Best of five. Oh, Han. Okay. Now. I didn't realize Hondo who Hondo was. I don't know who my Hondo is. Uh, when? Um, his name is Connor. Mm -hmm. Tag used to be Epstein, did an SD. Uh, pretty good player. Not like tournament winning but like definitely gonna get ninth or something like that so this is mary versus whiplash on losers side yep losers round three nope not three losers round two yeah tough tough bracket very tough bracket you're all set all right so mary starting on favorite. Yoshi's? um I, I'm my, my confidence is shaken just a little bit after watching Whiplash and Table. I think Whiplash can definitely take it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can't believe how good he got over quarantine. So Whiplash had a nice four stock on me in our second game. He's so good. Yeah. <laughs> He's so good now. So hopefully playing with a little bit of confidence now. Oh yeah. You definitely need confidence going up against somebody like Mary. I will say. We, we recently found out the uh, setup's a bit laggy. Okay. Advantage one, Mary. <laughs> um, because Mary's been doing it for so long on anything. Um, it's it's just the way he is. He's he's never been so bothered by that stuff. Ooh, the bait on the shield grab. 
Also, shout out to Mary for being the number one player in a game that I forget the name of, but literally. Oh yeah. The number one player. Wait, is he actually? Yes. In uh, Destiny. Top, top one percent. Top one percent. Okay, I was gonna say yeah. I that. thought you got like top one. That top is different. one percent. <laughs> that's still. That's yeah, still he's up there. Excellent. Dude, I saw that guy crawling over there, and I thought he was the dog. Uh, somebody let the like golden retriever in. <laughs> They're just gonna let anybody into an ultimate bracket, huh? Hell yeah. Oh, that's sex? Oh, nice. I wanted a, one more. Just one more for the fans. Yeah, and then an up smash? Yes. Although it is Yoshi's story. It's not like his final destination. Uh, yeah, he dies there, though. If we get the up smash, okay. Nice. Keeping it close. Yeah. Is this. Oh, I see what's happening. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Um. They I can't see that on stream, right? No. <laughs> Actually, we're just recording. We're not streaming. My yeah. Bad. So it's all good. You guys will be seeing this later. Uh, Whiplash. I tried to go for the kind of tight angle down. Didn't quite get it. No. I hate it when I get that straight angle when I go for a, a tight one. But I think um, Whiplash is in this like perfect area where he doesn't realize that he can beat certain players yet. And I think he's gonna begin to realize it over the coming weeks like he's perfectly good enough to get wins on players like mary like teach like uh kitchen table as i as i saw in his winner set um but having that realization and like really like believing it yourself is like actually really tough uh so that's that's kind of the grind for whiplash right now he's just gotta go in thinking he has a chance if that makes sense i like that and uh, especially that's more important if you're happen to be up in the game or up in a set where you think oh i'm not supposed to be doing this so this is really awesome but you're also start to get that feeling in your brain of like play to not lose yeah play to not lose you feel like you have to do more than you can mm -hmm, right. uh, you have to play more than your game plan when you don't it's the onus of the other player to show you something different. Going yeah. for a little bit of style there is Mary and it not working out. Yeah, a little, a little much. A little, a little Falco of him. <laughs> okay. A little slow on the reaction, might die for you here. Oh! But, oh, but a missed ledge dash. Yeah, drop low on it. Okay, 1 0 Mary. Pretty, pretty dominant game there. Stadium counterpick for the Fox. Uh, makes sense. I never know what people should be counterpicking in this matchup. Uh, <laughs> Whatever you're more comfortable with, at, I would say, at this level. There's yeah. A, I, I don't know if it necessarily matters at a quote-unquote uh, mid-level or top, until until you get to, like, top player status. But even then, even Mango then will, it's just, sketchy Mango will just take you to Yoshi's Island, even though he shouldn't take you to Yoshi's Story. Yoshi's Story, excuse me. Yeah. He'll just and, do that. And, like, a lot of... The common wisdom in the past has been FD, but then Fal Falco's kind of started winning on FD. Like, is Falco's neutral on FD uh, good enough to counteract the punish game difference that the chain grab gives Fox? And does the chain grab even give Fox a punish game difference? And if you're not confident in the chain grab, then you probably want platforms to be able to play around with. Exactly. A little stuck in the shine there, uh, trying to corner pressure. Gonna pay Arcadian for it. Bash, baby. Mm -hmm. I love me some Arcadian Lash Dashes. Oh, yeah. You know, we used to have 717 Arcadians. Oh. <laughs> Is it too late to try to do one for all the old kids over on the other side of the room? That'd be kind of sick. We just have nope. everybody sign up, swap them, yes. call it an Arcadian. Yes. <laughs> I have a pretty good buy left on the ultimate side. I just try not to touch that game anymore because it messes up with my timing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, the, I'm not, the I'm delay not good is enough, no good. I'm not good enough to like play both games. Not a lot of people are. Uh, even people who are good at it like have to warm up for a while on one game or the other to get used to the delay in ultimate or like the lack of delay in melee. Or buffer, too. Yeah, buffer is the bigger thing for Like me. when I was playing a lot of ultimate when it first came out, I was like trying to buffer nares out of shield, like buffer short hop nares out of shield. You know how you can just like hold X and A, yeah, and they just nair. I was trying to do that in melee, and it was like fucking me up so bad. I was just getting shield grabs or whatever happens. Mm. Oh, the spacing from Mary was so good. Yeah, Mary's kind of hitting him with the funnies. He's looking real good. 
and is up three stocks to one, looking to take this game, move on in losers. Who could marry in losers finally now? Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to check is, that out after this. That does feel a little early, but of course, we got great players on the winner side of things. Yeah, I think there's a solid one, two. There's like a solid like four people in here that I think could take this tournament. So we're seeing players seem like they go to losers a little early, and then what that ends up with is players and like the the players that no offense should be in losers feel like they're getting a tough match in losers when it's like no the tournament's just that good right. Yeah. Like, uh, Andy came up to me and asked me who he's playing. Shargi, you guys saw him on stream earlier. Asked me who he's playing, and I was like, Rob Fox. He's like, seriously? <laughs> who do you lose to? And I go, George. And it's like, holy shit, that happened in winner's quarters, right? Yeah. That's ridiculous. And that is a GG's in favor of Mary, a 2-0. Yeah, decisive 2-0. What's up, George? <laughs> uh, I gotta see the... Where are we at? Let's... Hold off on that for a second, and we're going to catch losers up. Uh, I want... Sorry. Me. You're good. Oh, whoops. I did a lot. So, let's see if Sharko's playing right now. I think he is. Um, no. No? Sharko! You're going to play what's your... Shotgun, what's your? Who's what's your? I have no idea. I don't know either. What's your? You? I have no stream. Well, I have no stream. Give me on stream against Sharko. Oh, boy. What's up? So we're holding up winner semis to run it through the stream. Losers is pretty behind at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna. I think we have one loser set on stream, and hopefully people start playing their sets, and we'll be good. <laughs> uh, this guy, this they're playing. Okay, so we got Sharko on the Fox. Yep. Uh, he had a couple of different little phases between characters. Um, I think he was on Marth for a minute, on Sheep maybe. And Falco as well, I think. On Falco. Character crisis, Sharko, Barco. Oh, yeah. oh we had the, the, uh, the Ices too. Seems to be a thing of the past though because I've been consistently seeing Fox, which is good news yeah. for Sharko fans out there in the world. Sharko needs it. Needs to just work on a character. Okay. Gets the up smash. Has uh, a nice opening, but then isn't able to shark out. Uh, you know, I said that without even thinking about it. <laughs> The stream can't see us, but I gave Jesse a look for that one. And I I realized it only after I said it, which is why I stopped talking. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> did I just say what I said? God damn it. <laughs> uh, what's we'll yard, not, by the way? We will be, we will be something else. We'll be fishing for those uh, landings. Oh, yeah, there we go. Very nice back air. Oh, oh, gives up ledge. Yeah, did not have to do that. Oh, the jab reset was kind of sick. And by when I mean jab reset, like kind of like in the fighting game sense where... He had a combo and then just took him out of it when he didn't expect it. Right. It's pretty cool. Jab is great at higher percents against the fellow Spacey as well because mm. it freezes you up for half a second so you can throw out your smash attack, call it a day. Mm. Yeah, knockdown. Pretty even so far. I don't know, and this is really rare for me in a 717 tournament. I don't know who Watsyar is. So this is very exciting. Watsyar was here last week. Okay. At the friendlies. I kind of played my rotation and like didn't move from it. <laughs> My brother was here last week, so I was... Really? Yeah. Oh my he, god, I really didn't move from my rotation. <laughs> well, he's not going to be here for the next couple of weeks because he's taking a two and a half week trip all over the United States. Oh, cool. Yeah. Going to any Millie's <laughs> Literally going out to the Grand Canyon, driving around. 
I mean, I want to say driving to Colorado as well. I have no idea. I just know Grand Canyon is one of the stops. Nice. That's Which fun. Really cool. Just going to be like driving around and doing different stuff the whole time for mm -hmm. over two weeks. Cool. So did I would you? love to do that. Yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> it's a lot of PTO. Oh my gosh. He has so much PTO. <laughs> so good for him. Hell yeah. So did you get to talk to What's Yard at all? Last no, week? no. When we were playing, it was just like game time. More, just, just watch it. Just playing. Hell yeah. I mean, one of the things about me and playing friendlies is that I try to take it a little bit more seriously, just because I'm trying to work on my tech skill. And yeah, playing. you're on the grind. I'm on the grind, and uh, nothing takes me out of it more than talking, uh, especially when the other player is trying to give me advice. I hate that. Really? Okay. Yes, I hate it so much. I don't want to hear it while I'm playing. I feel that. Yes. My ego gets involved on whether or not I like to hear it. Yes. If I feel like you're worse than me and you're trying to give me advice, it oh, tilts me. Hell no. Yeah. And I'll, you'll never know who you, who I think I'm better than. I'll never say it. I'll never let it show. It gets me. <laughs> it gets me if I get advice from somebody I don't want advice from. I like to ironically give advice to people that I play against who <laughs> are far better than me. Yeah. Because I think it's funny, but I'm not actually being like, er, er, you should really do uh, something. Like, it's just <laughs> more actually... like, you should try and dash attack more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up to wars. Actually, sometimes wars. if you miss your L cancel, it can help. <laughs> oh, this is some... It's just hard to get a good punish uh, from the Falco side when you get a grab, but still using it as an option to respect. Because mm -hmm. if you never show it at all, then the other player knows what to do. Ooh. A lot of good aerials as as uh, What's Yar starts flying into the air off of jump, throwing out aerials really quickly. Mm, like What's Yar is? Yeah. Okay, I but, see. So he's doing a lot of early aerials, kind of defensive stuff. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. But I think, I think they're coming out really fast, so I don't want to call them frame one or anything. But, mm -hmm. oh, and a nice down smash to take game one here. Yeah, I think um, What's Yar and, and Sharko kind of... We're looking at like a, a similar level from two of them, a really good matchup right now. I think the difference that game was what's your was more willing to hold center, uh, not really overextending or trying things that he doesn't think he can do. Um, and it's really benefiting him. So, contrast to the last Fox Falco set we, we saw, we actually got the Fox counterpicking to FD this time. Uh huh. Sharko definitely looking for the chain grab, which I think is a good idea. If you've grinded it, do it. You know? right. Yeah, especially if you have confidence in it. It's just that these are some really nice uh, hits that Wetsyar's been able to... Oh, Wetsyar going for a little bit of cheese there? A little bit? A little bit? I wonder if he was trying to shine turn around something. Oh, might, have, okay. might have tried to cheese him with side B, but who knows. Okay, the other the other um, thing that I just saw, aren't they playing on Haxis 1.03? They are playing on 1.03. Yeah, the straight stage layout. Yeah. Do you think Do you think that is part of the controversial lag on the stream setup? I don't think so. Um, That's I think what the easiest the, thing to blame. What the <laughs> I think the easiest thing to blame and the thing I actually kind of know it is is uh, the way we have set up the stream. Mm. So it's kind of going through the capture card and then going to the TV. Oh wait, but yeah, that's, so that's the. That's it's all. It's almost good. like uh, you remember that like first week of Ultimate where Mango was playing from his stream setup. So like he was like playing from his monitor, and not the TV that he's playing on. So he's playing with an extra like 16 frames lag, and he's like, "This game's ass. It's so slow. It's so sticky." And he was like artificially giving himself like half a second of lag, and he's like, "Of course it is, dude." <laughs> yeah. Well, also he figured it out in a week. Remember how long it took Hungerbox to figure out that his Bluetooth oh, yeah. headphones the are headset. giving him audio lag? Dude, I'm gonna be real. The difference between the difference in lag between the headset has not been enough for me to switch off of the Bluetooth headset. And I, I get hit by a side B, and it's actually helping me. Because I get hit by a side B, and I go, ah, it's the damn headphones again. Instead of, damn, I'm bad. Okay, also, some players depend a little bit less on audio than others. But for me, I feel like I need to hear the game. I need well, it. Yeah. yeah. I, I know. It's I huge. Do. And especially for the side Bs, I know I base my punishes on side Bs based off of sound. Your audio cue. Yeah, yeah so I'm just throwing, and but I know it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, what's your already got him off stage? Yeah. And another, another down smash. Down smash the bread and butter finisher move for what's your on the early showing here. 
which is cool for a Falco. I feel yeah. like, you know, as a former Falco GCC main myself, I love me some forward smashing. But down smash, really good. See, there it comes out again. Yeah, down smash for the... Oh! The, the reset. No, we like the down smash. That shit's good. I am not... Much so, more is in the same camp as George, the entails of the world who don't necessarily like uh, caring about their gameplay while they're playing. <laughs> yeah, that so is a two-zero in what's your favor? I think the big difference there is one, maybe a bit of nerves, potentially nerves, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's first turn back, who knows? But two, from a gameplay perspective. What's your? I like your Falco, dude. What's up? I like your Falco. Thank you, man. I'm Are trying you? to say I like the down sashes. Are you, are you from around here? I'm not going to complain, but half of them weren't intentional. Are you from around here? Uh, yeah, I'm an hour away, actually. Oh, no shit, where? Uh, Mechanicsburg. Okay. Mechanicsburg. Wait, so you, how'd you find us? Facebook, uh, um, Discord, Twitter? Weird story. I was a part of the 717 Facebook. Yeah. And then I joined up with Raids the... I saw Raids the Band was doing stuff. Yeah, that's me. And then, <laughs> whenever... And then I joined, one, I don't remember what event it was, it was an online event two weeks ago. Yeah. Then I came to this event, because they were posting about it, mm -hmm. now I'm here. That's me again. Yeah. <laughs> I got what's so out here, what's up? very much for being here. <laughs> Whose idea was it to Discord? run the online thing again this time? Are you trying to report? It's Jesse. It was Jesse's idea. Thank you, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You're very kind. The Jesse next to me, that is. Straight up. Let me go ahead and report that match. Do the right thing. Yeah. So I think now we should probably switch to. Eh. Uh, should we? Loses round three. Out of here. I think we just throw Teach What's Yar on. The losers quarterfinal. So. Yo, what's up? Uh, losers is going pretty slowly. We're only in losers round three right now. It's more like. Oh, yikes, yeah. Sean, what are you thinking for stream? Yeah, that's right. Well, the good news is that we, we're not out of here at 9. Like, we're theoretically here. I think winners' finals like, will have to wait very long if we don't put a losers match on and let losers keep playing out a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's not just all, or actually, like, we can do that. You guys will make help on this side. Yo, James. Awesome. You're against What's Yar on stream. Yo, What's Yar, you're back at it. I'm back at it straight hard. We just don't feel like changing the uh, layout. What's what Yar what with the nice stream run? I love to see it. Yeah, losers got a bit behind. We got to catch them up. Otherwise, we get to winners' finals and or grands, and that person's going to be waiting for like three hours. We don't want that. As long as we make sure that the losers matches that aren't on stream right now are actually playing. There are immaculate vibes on the stream right now. Immaculate vibes. Oh yeah, James and What's Your have similar sensibilities. Yes. <laughs> are vibing heavy. The vibes <laughs> are this awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> They look like they're both the showing up to a Halloween party as each other. The melee gods, the melee gods have shown up today to bring us closer together as the <laughs> melee family. And they're already at it, and I need to switch around. Uh, they're either at the top. Yeah, the that's the one. So that's Teach. Teach. Yep. Uh, hell yeah. I'm gonna fix Teach's thing in a second. Don't worry, I got it. Oh, no. So I think, um, in all honesty, I think this is going to be a tough one for what's here. I think uh, you have to get to a certain level yes. um, to stress James out. Everything has to be a little bit tighter, a little bit crisper, but I'm, I'm, still, I'm still excited to see when Watsyari is able to get a hit in and start a potential combo, what that can turn into, because that doesn't change. No. Because all of a sudden, you're going from playing Teach to playing against a Falco that's, or sorry, a Fox that's flying in the air. For sure. And so you just want to have the confidence that when you get your hits in, you can turn it into something. Like, see, you're just hitting a Fox. Now you're uh, not securing the edge guard. Nice fade back on the up B. Oh, yeah. James's fundamentals are going to go a long way here. Uh, I think an issue... This is really ironic. Oh, he hits him with the James. I think uh, an issue What's Yar might end up running into here. It's funny. This is a really weird comparison, but go with me for a second. 
James puts on a similar very nice put, puts time a again. similar brand of mental pressure on the opponent as the kitchen table does. Mm. And we were talking about it uh, before you hopped on, but table when you play him, there's a pressure that you feel where he is clean. Um, he's gonna hit his tech skill, so you feel pressured to hit yours. You feel like you're you're behind, you're losing, yeah. you're, you're just throwing if you're not hitting your shit because table's gonna hit his shit. Yeah. And it's a similar pressure to James. Like James is gonna play like James, right? He's a an immovable object. <laughs> Um, and it takes a lot to, to get to the point where you're like it's okay that James is going to be like James I don't need him to mess up because my game plan, my punish game are better everybody loves Frozen Stadium I'm, I'm a big fan of Frozen Stadium oh it's such a fun map to play on misses the up air on the jab reset oh the Johnny grab just, from Falco yeah, just grabbing a fox in the air on the, le on the platform but like you said there's a lot of pressure that Teach is applying here just by being able to be tight on the tech skill. And yeah. when going in, able to throw out good moves and be able to open up. Oh, I thought I was going to see it on my side for a second there. And James kind of knows uh, what he's bringing. So, like, he'll, he'll, he's kind of self-admittedly, like, not the flashiest player, right? So, like... He hits that back air. I hit that back up throw back air, and I go, holy shit, I just dropped a huge punish. That's really bad. I can't believe I did that. He hits that up throw back air and goes, yep, there's my percent. <laughs> and he's good with it. Very uh, nice edge guard, though. We're tied at three stocks. Playing within yourself is so strong. Yes, not saying to yourself, I should have done XYZ while you're playing. You're just simply playing. Yeah. And that's where James is at. And he's, not, he's also not affected by tournament pressure, uh, which is... Interesting. <laughs> I don't understand him. <laughs> He's different. <laughs> Teach and Mango, they've just been playing Melee for so long. It doesn't matter anymore. It, it's true. He started around when I started. He was, you know, my first tournament set was against James. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, he four stocked me twice. Oh. Uh, I could not sweet spot Marth's upbeat. My first tournament set was against Mary, I want to say. Why can't I remember anymore? I feel bad. I sh that's something I should know. Mine made a big impression because I got walloped. It, it made such a big impression that James beat up a, a scrub, and James remembers his my first set against him. Aww. James remembers four, double four stocking me because he's like, holy shit, I'm the greatest player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> he tells a story how he went up to Ulrich, who was like a, a really good player in the scene back then, and he's like, did you see that? See how sick I was? <laughs> and Oryx's like, dude, you just started. I can't. <laughs> I can't give you this props is, for that. This is his first tournament. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> so James is forever going to be this, like, benchmark here. Like, he's always going to be, uh-oh, I'm playing James. And that is a 2-0 GG. And I got to give it to What's Yard. It looked way better than my first set against James. GG. Yeah, it's crazy. Good showing from What's Yard. That's a good this showing. This tournament, yeah. J Bob got four stocked in two games in his first ever tournament set against this guy. He walloped me. It was so bad. I think it would have been a lot better if I just teched. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> the more you play in tournament, the more that'll start to go away. Like, you'll just start hitting it and be dummy good at the punishes. I love this. Well, I did well. You killed it. Good shit, dude. Yep. Good stuff, good stuff. Hell yeah. You played well. How many tournaments have you entered? Uh, okay, that's a good question. Offline. Because I used to go to offline events years ago. Okay. Back in Project M. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. But then whenever something came out, I'm like, alright, I guess I'll play melee. Hell yeah. We got him. <laughs> That's Gimmer's shout out, con. Uh, shout out to Project M and shout out to Project Plus, though. Does an Ultimate player over there have the fucking Yeezys? Like, the, the crazy, like... He does, right? Holy shit. <laughs> That's insane. All players are just That's so, so different. sick. They're, they are different, man. So, this is Mr. F. Why do I keep hearing about a Rob? 
is this who you're talking about? No, Rob is in the losers right now. Got 2-1 by Impale down there. Oh. Uh, but Rob probably coming out of losers finals. We got Rob Fox and Sam on the on the adjacent stream setup. Oh shit, we got Hondo and Teach. The two for James. Yeah! Hondo Teach? Yeah, yeah. Woo! Fuck yeah. Uh, this is actually Teach and Hondo. Oh, Hondo. Yeah, we got Nova Fuzz and uh, Rob Fox on the not stream setup. I always call this the not stream setup because we have had the stream in the same spot for like four or five years now. And there's always a setup right there. And every once in a while you get a juicy one on that setup. And the commentators start commentating that one. And it's fire. I love it when that happens. This is a juicy one. I'm going to be real. And this is an all-time... Uh, 717 classic you guys aren't seeing it you guys are seeing another a little bit of a newer school classic because uh connor's connor's a newcomer uh connor going with the chic interestingly sorry hondo so we've seen hondo on the marth we saw hondo on the fox for a while but this is another jmook inspired character change oh yeah jmook is did you see that Shine set versus Zane in Grand Finals? I haven't watched Shine at all yet. Just you, oh, just you wait. I'm gonna watch through like all the Shine sets. I'm kind of excited. It's so awesome. It's it's such high level melee. I mean, watch wait, it. I lied to you. I watched it. It was godlike. It was amazing. I totally lied to you. I was watching Zane's run after like winners quarters. Okay, yeah. And that Axe win as well. Good stuff to Zane. I was in a Discord call while Zane was playing Axe, and I said to my, I said to my friends, I'm like, yo, if he loses this, I'm dropping Marth uh, against Pikachu. I'm <laughs> never playing that matchup ever again. Cause like, at this point, he's been grinding against, like he's been grinding Mark Pikachu for like years and years. Mm -hmm. At this point, uh, like it's his only barrier in bracket, and he flew out this best, yeah, yeah, maybe second well, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pikachu for a day to warm up. If, if Zane couldn't do it there, I was going to be crushed, demoralized. You put five bucks on Zane, that's a risky five. That's impressive. All right, but we got Teach Hondo. Um, these two play similarly in, in vibes. Uh, what I'm seeing so far is not the, the crispiest approaches or playing around the fox from Hondo, but as Sheik, you, you can get an opening and you can take it a long way with fox. Yeah, right now it's looking like uh, Hondo's a little more impatient than Teach. Nice shield grab. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ariel. Okay. Reactions? React okay. Reacting to these get-ups and, uh, and evasions by Teach. Mm -hmm. Getting another grab. That's going to help you in this matchup. You, the more grabs you get, the better. Yeah. I think uh, one thing Hondo's got to look out for already off the first stop. And very nice ledge guard. Really good. Is overextending. Uh, James has been able to bait out a couple of these dash attacks. A, a few too many for my liking. I feel like it's a little dangerous for him. Right now, I, I, th I think that Hondo's definitely going for that grab and then start to do stuff or approach at the moment just because he's like, I'm up a stock right now, so right. I can play more patiently. I don't think he's trying... Okay, maybe the dash say, being a little forced. But you cursed him. Yeah, literally commentator curse. My bad. Yeah. So, Teach didn't really get that opening. Jesse did. Uh, I'm not going to use that in my data in my analysis of the set, so I'm going to wait on it. Need more data. <laughs> <laughs> I need data. <laughs> Shout out to I Need Data, by the way. That's still a relevant website. It's such a good website. It's crazy. If you're a massive nerd, great website. That's heaven. Okay, <laughs> I think James... Oh, yeah. nice little charge up smash for the fans. Yeah, so James knows about how you got a regular get up and then react to where she's going yep. at that timing. So, there are things she can do. Uh, but the things she can do about that hot, that like just regular get up, react edge guard are 
sort of high level. You know, they're not like... Nice crash cancel down smash. They're not like just picked up Sheik stuff. These letting go the ledge and to back airs, mm -hmm. that's the second stock. Two stocks have been the same exact thing on that side of the stage. Really clean. Uh, James is going to have to start thinking about when he goes off stage. Maybe I got to start up being a little farther away. Maybe I got to mix in some side Bs. Because uh, he's dropping that. Look at these reactions by Connor. Oh, Never mind. That was four. And you jinxed it. Too. Yeah, we're fucking that, up. I wasn't saying anything. I was waiting. I Commentators was waiting. versus Hondo <laughs> is like a 90 10 matchup right now. It's really bad. <laughs> and okay. a very nice back air. Turn around back air. Yeah, love to see that. Oh. Tough working his way out of the corner. James going for the Armada read, which and is literally just anytime somebody smacks you uh, for jumping out of the corner. <laughs> so having something that basic is how you know you're good. Like, if you have a, a very basic, like, broad thing that everybody goes, yep, that's the Armada, you know you're nasty. You know you're sick with it. Yeah, James still picking up the match, uh, the uh, edge guard, even though he's above 100 and got the slow get up. Um, it's tough to have that type of thing in your head if, you're, if you're Hondo, but... This happens to all of us. When you're down a stock and you're on your last stock, you think to yourself, as soon as you start taking damage, you're like, oh no, I'm falling behind. Yep. And then you see a, a forward smash, and Sheik never wants to do forward smash. No. Yeah, you feel like you're on bar at time. Yep. Where? Okay, very nice. And is able to take that, so now we're down to last stock each. And the grab can change things quickly, but will the commentators be able to facilitate a win for Teach? Yeah, maybe we should or start, Hondo? We should start uh, talking about what James is doing. <laughs> we should start talking about how, how things are going on at the venue. Yeah. The venue is pretty tight, it feels like. Okay, he dropped it. We can talk about the game oh, okay. again. So it's Hondo fine. drops the tech chase, but gets nice percent and is now getting some dash attacks. Oh, I thought I was going to see more there. Yeah, I think he might have tried to go for like a really early nair. That would have been very Jamuk-esque, and knowing cool. that Connor's inspired by him would have made sense. That was, that was a nice nair. That was a little early. Yeah, I think he went went for that earlier. Oh, oh the get attack. Doesn't get the edge guard there. Yeah, kind of slowed a ledge and had to... Uh, be doing oh, a bit of a panic option. Up smash. That'll be. Oh, I thought I was gonna see up smash right there. Yeah, I don't know if it would have killed. Uh, it would have been close. Battlefield's got a pretty high ceiling. This should be it. That's a slap. Nice. That's game one in favor of Hondo. Yeah. Um, James, I don't think gets his James boost against Hondo. So like we were talking about James boost versus what's yard against what's yard where he's like you know he's gonna play his game he's always gonna be James mm -hmm. Connor's also always gonna be Connor mm -hmm. um, I've only ever seen Connor fall apart in a set once <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was against me <laughs> just uh, Other than that, just he's delivering a rock. the facts. We, the commentators, are telling you what has happened. Uh -huh. It's not because we want to make anybody feel bad. No, or anybody feel good. <laughs> like, that's not. The, like that's definitely good. not the goal. Yeah, yeah. How many games were you behind? Just for factual sake. None. Okay. Yeah. semis or best cool, of cool, cool. Yeah. Yep, love it. Early stock from Hondo. Given things are how things are going so far, I'm not like concerned about time. And now I'm gonna say something after this punish. Yep, we have to wait. To, okay, okay, Honda's punish game time. has been really good. It's been very good. The it's been crazy. Throw. And and falling from ledge to get that. Oh, and Randall saves the day. Yep. You'll love to see it. Oh, still picking up the edge guard, maybe? No. Reacts late to the side B. Yep. And that can be tricky because Teach has been doing a lot of up Bs and then throwing in a side B, it's so hard to react. Oh, Teach may be not teaching right now. Teach is kind of. He's looking a little pressed. Pressed to take the stock, you know? Well, he looks like newer, he knows he's behind. The newer, the newer Sheiks start to be able to get out of things that are that are problematic for them and I wanted to give a shout out to Hondo because I feel like I've seen I've seen a good amount of crouch cancel and that just helps the Fox to hesitate a little bit with approaching. A hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely punishing some of these uh, more fraudulent approaches and that'd be real. Oh he had it up there? No, back here. That was really good. Oh ready oh, for the side for this time. Oh that was so good. And it's working on a four stock right now. Hondo's ridiculous <laughs> Oh, God, gets the needle! Scary. Wow, and okay. another grab. I, I, that, that's on me. My fault. You said something. I said something. Okay, back throw. Love it. The way his edge guards have been going, I love back throwing there. That's mm -hmm. a great idea. Yeah, get the fox off stage and let gravity take care of the rest because mm -hmm. it's so. It, you just get a couple of hits and you feel so good as the sheik. I'm trying to catch my boy's eye and see how that heater on on the not stream setup went. 
sounds like Rob 3 to Sam. So Rob is my pick to come out of losers, but Hondo's making a bit of a case for himself, if I'm real. Like, doing this to teach is uh, impressive. Are we gonna nice. go for a read? No, we're gonna keep reacting? <laughs> He's so good! <laughs> And a nice little slap off the ledge. That's 2 0. Honda looking ridiculous. Are they. Oh, this is a, this is a best of five? I, I'm going to let him play it out. I don't know if it is or not, and I'm it's, not going to figure it out. This is the right thing to do. For stream, all stream setups should be best of five. So 2 0. We got to switch to Mark from uh, Teach, taking him to FD. Yep. This is uh, the real shit. James will forever be a Marth main, no matter how much he plays Fox. <laughs> so, do we see Marth for the rest of the set? Is the question. Uh, yeah. If if this is a Marth win, if yeah. James can take this game. One hundred percent. The edge guards, the punish game, everything. I know. I I lived with James for a while, and when I mean lived with him, like in the same room, room. Oh wow. For a minute, I got a decent idea of how he thinks. Um, he, if he wins this, he's gonna feel himself. He's gonna think he's gonna win the set. Uh, and he might be right. James is a bit of a momentum player, I'm gonna be real. Ultimately, this is a really big change of pace for the Sheik to be able to, because you have, you go from combo food to a much harder to combo character, and Marth's range with all the sword swings are such a such an annoying for Sheik, but ultimately not an not an impossible matchup. I'm not saying that not this is all. not saying that Marth beats Sheik or anything like that. I am. But I'm saying that this is <laughs> But I'm saying that this is this is a different feel, a different tempo. Yeah. And certain players can deal with that. No, yeah, and this other is, players have a harder time with it. By all accounts, this is a worse matchup for Mar or for Teach. Uh, in terms of character, but right. in terms of player, um, there are two characters in this game that I think I would point out as having noob killer neutrals. Uh, Marth being one of them, Falco being the other. Mm, Falco, yeah. You got you a bit of a noob lasers. killer yeah. neutral. Yeah, you just shoot lasers. Yeah, and and right now this is kind of a this is this feels like a bit of a check as well from James. It's like okay. You look that nuts against my, my fox. Wait a second. Was Teach just waiting to be awoken this whole time? Yes. No <laughs> jump. No jump. No jump. And James there's the knew tipper. It. And, and good DI to live, but I don't it's think he's not living. looking good. Yeah, for the edge guard. Yeah. Exactly. And a nice finish on the edge guard by Teach. So Have a stock in game three. FD a really good counter pick for Teach here, too. Uh, he's really good at Are we finding. in trouble if Teach reverse 3 O's and this should have been a best of three? No. <laughs> no, that's on the players to know. They should ask. Um, it was it was communicated at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the uh, tournament. When so. semis down. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't know where that was communicated. If I'm being honest with you, J Bob. I'm sure it was communicated. I'm not the TO. <laughs> no, you're not. You are our best commentator. I'm Get faultless a, here. Yes. All business. All business. Mm -hmm. If it hasn't been said on commentary yet, for posterity's sake, j -Bob showed up on time to play in Bracket and still didn't do Bracket today. I did. Because on the content grind. I am. On the commentary grind, baby. You know I'm going to start making videos? We're going to start making videos, j -Bob? Yeah, I got I to tell you about my idea okay. uh, when we're off stream. I can't spoil oh, okay. it. Okay, off stream. The sauce is too real yeah. for a recorded setup that will not release for a few days. Oh, and a nice... I'm just going to talk about it. <laughs> so I went down to SmashCon recorded a bit uh it was a bit of a proof of concept for me i don't think i'm going to release the video because there was some footage that i'm missing some things that i wanted to work out but i want real bad to go to a bunch of locals and and like record you know what the local looks like i want to talk to the tos the people organizing the people go there what's special about your tournament maybe find some weird ones as i'm talking about that though we're last stock. This isn't undoable for Hondo. Right, and Hondo has momentum coming down from being down. Okay, gets grabbed because missing get, a wave dash. Getting grabbed at 86 is really tough for Sheik on the stage, but he gets out of it. Um, if James makes one good read on a double jump, it's over. Right, you take that double jump away, right there. Oh, That could have been all it took. A little nice bad space. Nice wiggle James. to throw out the forward air. Mm -hmm. And, has, okay, yes. I so rolled say that. Teach has had really good ledge guards in this game and mm -hmm. is able to take this one all the way to secure game three. 
And right, two one. makes it 2-1. So, I want to just document a bunch of locals. And it can, like, double as an advertisement for the local, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The first one I have in my sights okay. is Wombat's local. Okay, let's go. Uh, Wombat, it's not even a melee tournament, which is funny for it to be my first one, but Wombat had been telling me all through Wombat Wednesdays about how he runs a PM local next like alongside an ultimate tournament and he's getting a bunch of people in the pm and like the ultimate players are starting to beat the pm players oh, okay i think it would be such a sick thing because like is really cool wombat uh i think is one person in the melee slash p plus community it's definitely a different community at this point but like it's a little connected i think he's one of the best tos at uh getting people into their game and i want to talk to him about it let's go Good counter pick from uh, Hondo, by the way. Here, I think Sheik is ridiculous on the stage against Marth, bordering on unfair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that double jump was oh, so scary, and there. James knew it with that air dodge. He knew he fucked up. Uh, I don't know if I like oh, cheese him from ledge, but it is what it is. Yeah. You either have to say I want to go down there and challenge Marth on the recovery, mm -hmm. and you have high percent, so if you get hit by the up B and you don't tech against the wall, you're dead. I was about to say James playing this real patient, but then he went for that dash attack and got killed for it. Yep, and dash attack is so tempting because it just, it gently scoops Sheik into the air. Oh, so yeah. hittable, you know? Oh yeah, it's your one burst option as Marth that's like, that doesn't make you feel like a oh, scrub. Oh, what a slap. Okay, I think Honda figured a little bit of something out. Yeah. In the past, like, 30 seconds. I think partially that, what? partially oh, this smash. Uh, Honda with a forward smash. Two hitboxes. Send my crispy ledge dash, you love to see it. Get some time to shield drop. Oh no! Oh, going for a little bit of the of the of the ledge guard sauce, if you will. Yeah. Doesn't work out that time. And a little bit too far away for that grab. Yeah, if I'm honest, Teach is looking for oh. was that Phantom? Teach is looking for some of these scrub options on recovery from Tondo and he's not giving them to him. And that was a really good get-up attempt, but it was a little bit too early. And that's not gonna take it because Dreamland ceilings, baby. Yeah, Hondo's got a lot going for him right now. Uh, James got to find this kill, got to find something next. Stock, nope. Oh, they had to get back onto the stage, not even having to get to the ledge. Yeah, a little tough to tell. A little ambiguous uh, spacing there from Hondo. Really good. Okay, okay. And the regular the regular getup gives him time to be able to throw out a down smash yep. there. Mars up, he sucks a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's so not fair. Like, if Mars <laughs> is able to recover, Sheik and Mars, if they're able to recover off of landing off through their down B as fast as Fox and Falco, they're just like, even that makes them that much better of a character. That's insane. The little things that we're used to in Melee, that if they were just like tweaked for whatever reason, not that I'm advocating for that, I'm not advocating, what I'm saying is that it's crazy that... That would change it so that's much. Just part, that would just, yes, it would change so much. Yeah. And that's Marth part would of be their so identity. Unfair. It would be, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm a Marth player. <laughs> Damn, still, okay, I was going to say still not killing him with that Nair, but he just gets the kill with the Nair. Marthritis is really rough on a stage like this. Yeah, and I was about to say, Teach, at the uh, percent where you're not comboing Sheik, and Sheik ain't, is going to absolutely shit on you if, if she gets a hit. Uh, nice crouch cancel and able to down smash. Very nice edge guard. Yeah, almost baited him into going for that uh, yeah. high up B. Let's grab off it. This might be the set. We might uh, get our jail out of free card, uh, or get our get out of jail a free card for making not it a telling you <laughs> three. Uh, we're, Hondo with the we're, sizable we are controversial makers. I mean, how else are we supposed to get the name out there of Millersville Smash? We have to like get in trouble with the broader community. We gotta make for not mad. properly calling a set. Yeah. Best of three when it was supposed to be best of three. Yeah, hundred percent. We gotta. Stir the pot a little bit, yeah. make people complain on Twitter. Nobody's going to complain about that on Twitter. Both of these guys, I don't even think Connor has a Twitter. GG's. <laughs> Hondo with the 3-1, able to adjust. What I was saying, is Hondo going to be able to adjust? And he did. Totally Very did. nice game. I think that counter pick's fucked up, too. I'm going to be real. <laughs> but really, in a best of five. Really good counter it's on pick. The it is on the table. It's on yep. the table, Jesse. 100%. I'm waiting for Sean to report that match. Yeah, I think we might be about to see uh, winner semis. Winner semis. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the bathroom before that happens. Okay.
TKT, you're on I the big think, uh, setup. Are you doing that for real? As soon as you went to Dreamland, you mentally lost. Let's go, TKT! Yes, it's best of five. Okay, J-Bob is not here, sadly, because of going to the bathroom, but we have the winner's semis match of Mr. F versus the kitchen table. And yes, I'm going to have a lot of bias for the kitchen table, but let's try to call this somewhat fairly. Mr. F showing a lot of sauce early on, showing why Mr. F is in winner's semis as well. Tight matches so far, but a short hop back air. Not gonna actually do it on the ledge guard. TKT with the mang on that recovery. Just, uh, they're able to get openings against both each other so far, and a nice forward smash to take that stock. TKT up uh, a partial stock, trying to get some percent here. And really nice patience by Mr. Up, knowing that out on the platform can have a lot of options. Nice laser to catch TKT out of his jump. Oh, table. Continually able to show different wrinkles to recovering back on the stage, giving Mr. F a lot of trouble, but Mr. F able to secure it there. And getting a big opening. Oh, but then I want to say ASDI down to get out of the lag of that hit. Able to turn things around. Now we're feeling each other out again, trying to get an opening. Very nice back air. Sometimes you just got to let it full back, back here, but a nice shine and table drops the ledge guard. Oh, and a nice back air attempt. I thought that was going to hit. Not able to get the jump cancel grab, dash grab instead. Really laggy when you see it in real time compared to the jump cancel grab, but is able to secure the stock. Going really back and forth so far. You love to see it. So far, it's been pretty back and forth with Mr. F with the slight advantage right now. Okay. When they get openings, they're each hitting each other pretty hard. And Table's been giving Table's been giving Mr. F a lot of trouble while he's recovering. Mm -hmm. Like, TKT being able to mix up the recovery options, and Mr. F's having a hard time ledge guarding Table. Um, Mr. F uh, sticking with the Falco. Interesting. Yep. He, uh, I think we actually saw one of his like first tournaments on Falco when we were at the Hub tournament uh, way back. Nice. Crouch cancel forward smash on the get up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're seeing some some fundies that uh, table might not be used to dealing with here. This is winter semis, right? Yes, this is winter semis, best of five. Ooh, hell yeah. Actually supposed to be a best of five? Yes, actually for real supposed to be a best of five. No controversy here. Nice. Oh, Ooh. got the double jump, yeah. Bit of a bit of a scrub killer nice, decision nice. there, but Oh and a nice suicide down there. Yeah. Solid Safe. two stock from him. Not a wash. No, at but all. it's there. There we go. I could cause controversy by doing that. You could. You could just <laughs> lie to the people. When you get a suicide dare, that's that's two games that you actually get. Mm, that's what fair. what extension mm, by Falco fair. deserves two games instead of earning one game win? Uh, drop zone forward air off the top flat onto side flat into a kill. Nice. I like that. Yeah. And then, of course, if it's Falcon, if it's Falcon, then you want to see the Falcon punch to take a game. Depends sure. who you are. There's a there's you, you word on the street Falcon. that Falcon punch is lame. Oh, well, that Depending would Depending on how you hit it. Uh, <laughs> I right. think that no matter how you hit a Falcon punch in tournament, it's awesome. I respect the opinion. 
It's tournament. That's Ooh, the crazy part. Interesting pick oh, from Mr. F here. Lefty. I don't feel like that. Uh, uh, side B out of the corner. The classic. You love to see it. All the, and misses. Was supposed to fall through the platform for that knee. Mm. I don't feel like uh, that game one was bad enough to warrant a character switch, or any of these uh, counter picks were bad enough to warrant a character. You know what I mean? It's just like a weird decision here. Wait a second. Who? Wait. I thought TKT was still Fox. Yeah, I'm talking about from Mr. X. Okay. Oh, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm. I don't feel like he should feel comfortable enough to go a secondary, oh, and I, I don't feel like the counter pick was bad enough for Falco or the game was bad enough for him to yeah, feel like he really, needs really to pick bad. a different character. So I don't I don't know I don't know what's happening. Oh you know what? He was probably trying to get a uh, be able to get onto the onto the stage and tech the knee actually. Mm. So I take it back. Oh good reaction from Mr. Up there. Yes very nice back air. Love Making it. this look really difficult right now for Table to get back into this game. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like the rare player in 717. Oh. Nice table player, nice. Okay, I love it when the fucked up fire stall pays off. Yes. It was, it's, all, it's even better when you get an up smash out of it. Oh, yeah. I've gotten that a couple of times, not in tournament, but you get it, and I always go, that's the dumbest thing ever, but I still, I'm getting my serotonin. So all right, but I'm I got do your it ass again. Anyway. Yep, I'm a happy gamer. Oh, yeah. I get my up into up smash while I'm recovery. All I these back airs. And another dare to take it. All right, big two, big two zero lead here. Um, yeah, I don't know enough about Mr. F as a player. He's the rare seven one seven player where I can't tell what he's thinking. I don't know how well he's gonna do. I don't know what it takes to beat him. You know, like everybody else, I've seen these motherfuckers play a million times. Mm -hmm. I know what it takes, but Mr. F, I don't know. I don't know what's up. So far, showing really good execution on two different characters against Kitchen Table, who is a tech monster. Oh yeah. And will make you feel as if you are being choked out in a in a video game that you have no space to breathe. Yeah. I may be wrong, but I think Mr. F uh, spent a good amount of time in New Jersey. Something's happening in Ultimate. Hopefully a shield break. Yeah, who knows? Oh, you know what happened there? What? Uh, there is a player who's a newcomer to the Ultimate community, and he's one of the uh, top players, little brothers, and the kid's like 13, 14, something uh -huh. like that. Really young, youngster beating some adults, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty hype. I'll give it to him. That's that's worth cheering for. Okay, table with the lead. Also uh, playing as Bayonetta, which I've never liked Bayonetta, but if really? you can okay. if you can make everybody, not all of these people are, are Smash Four kids. No, some of them. Oh, just started get the early stock. And we were talking about the reaction of the room to the ultimate side of the bracket. Meanwhile, Table Ooh. is making this oh, look table. a lot harder. Starting to figure a few things out. Oh my god! But, uh, oh, see, that is the fo that's the Fox tax. That's I, the commentator's tax. I've never the seen the weird get up on Randall animation happen when Randall's going towards the ledge. So I don't blame Table for just dying there. That was fucking weird. Usually it's when Randall's going away and it's just a funny thing. Oh. Wow, oh, good with that. That's the ledge. And all of a sudden it's one stock each. Oh no, not the table. Okay, he lifts. Yep, I like the down air. I think Table's a little bit anxious coming down with aerials to a spot rather than okay, waiting. Oh, but getting shield You're 100% grabbed. right. He's getting a little anxious. Uh, I think he's kind of recollected himself now, though. We're, I think we're okay. Oh. <laughs> he's been doing that. Uh, oh, wow. How to get there so off stage there. That was incredible. Still living from Mr. F. Oh. Yeah, Table thought he'd drift back. He didn't give it to him. Trying to recover high, Mr. F. Really kind of fine in that. Oh, okay, he gets wow. Jumping up so fast to get that back air. Yeah, that was getting a little tight. That was almost a comeback from Mr. F. Uh, it would have been a great comeback, too. Outside of Yoshi's story, we might... Okay, back to Falco. Going Mr. To F. I think Mr. F may be not realizing that table is good enough to take him down Falco. I don't know. Interesting counterpick to FD, too. But I'm going to say, table's got these chain grabs. And I it's really... It twice, as you're, as you're saying that. Look, we're gonna do the same thing we did for Hondo, but look what just happened. Table took the stock, so I'm not in trouble. No True. controversy here. True. Good work. 
Oh, we have a drop control. People be tripping over people be tripping over chairs and controllers. Mm. Probably not uh, OSHA fail safe here at the venue today. Mm. No, yeah, probably uh, I'm not gonna look at the venue from that lens. <laughs> let it go. I, I never have. By the way, I saw a post on Twitter after after CAX tournament, C A G T. Yeah. yeah. Somebody ran his tournament from a logistical side where there was like no OSHA violations or something. I was like, oh, I, I never it. even thought of that for a, a, an ultimate tournament before or any gaming tournament. That's super funny. Like, who from OSHA is coming out to see a video game tournament? No one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no one. No one. Can't let it go. Uh, table periodically had a little two stock lead there. Mm -hmm. Um, still, was in a really strong position, had Mr. F in the coin. Oh, the okay, SDI out of that combo and he gets a grab out of it. And it's... Okay. I'm waiting, to, I'm waiting for it to be dropped or finished. <laughs> that was so good by table, it didn't work out for him, but to wait for Mr. F's reaction out of that combo, and he's got him in a tough position again in the corner. There's that up smash. Nice. And it's up three stocks to one again, oh so oh. knock on wood. Yeah, wait, we, this we is not say... Wood. Not wood. There you go, you I found some I found wood. <laughs> we will say, yeah. Take what the grab was that? Must have grabbed the leg. The leg sticking out. A little, little pressure on table here to kind of finish this oh, out. Oh, wow! There's that up there. Yeah, Mr. F's... That's not enough. Mr. F's DI almost like brought him into that shine up smash combo. Throws him off stage, not ready to react to the side B. Table ready to react to the tech Very in. Very nice back air. Gonna look Bring it to a game five. Come on, game five table. Give us the game five that we all want and deserve for winning like semis. Oh no! Good tech. tech! And oh, wow. way to hold on to the ledge there. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oh, me too, for sure. Absolutely. Oh my god! What a shine! The anti air ginger uh, shine. Love to see that. And it's such a call out <laughs> too if you're Falco because your shine is okay, smaller. Yeah. But we're going to game five! So you know what actually happens there? I call it the ginger shine because ginger brought it up at some point on stream and he's just the only one that I've ever seen talk about it but like if you crouch as Falco you have like almost an artificial disjoint on your shine okay uh, because true. he shines as if he were standing up yeah right? yeah so like you're bringing your hurt box down and then doing the same shine so you like almost have like a fake disjoint on it it's really good for anti-airing so I don't know if Mr. F meant to do all that or he's just instinctual but that's what happened there Either way, we're sticking with Falco, and that's what I, that's what warms my heart. I, 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 I feel as if, if Mr. F is saying, no, I can beat you with my Falco, yeah. oh. and I am going to beat you with my Falco. Yeah, and get some on the early uh, PP DI mix up there. Mm -hmm. Table gets the jump, but uh, wasn't ready for the get up attack. Okay, baits out the get up oh. attack. Oh my god, I almost killed him. What the call out down smash and a nice down there. Yeah, it's first up, table to have to tech there. Already. These stocks can melt away if you're a spacey player. So uh, an equal turnaround can happen, but oh, yeah. will table be able to stay focused and be able to hit these hits once he gets them? Yeah, it's tough when you're playing somebody that you feel like maybe I shouldn't be beating this person to make that comeback, but I think table's got that belief that he can beat anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Table playing real careful around that up tilt. Oh, I love little, it. Like a little up smash attempt. I, I didn't want to see another up smash there. Yeah, he didn't get the knockdown off of the uh, drill, which is a real problem. That's a that's a real dropped opportunity from Table there. Let's go, Table. Definitely can bring it back. Okay. Got him in the corner. Oh, Just got the weak spot on that up smash. Able yeah. to dodge the grab. That's uh, so crucial there. Mm -hmm. Getting a little tough at the table. Oh, Another Mr. Shot shine. Let's go. Oh, Mr. That's F like some 2013 fundies. Oh, yeah. And it we're works. Saying, okay. Oh, yeah. We're saying 2013 oh, fundies, but we also nice. saw an SDI out of a jab reset for Mr. F and the, the like West Ball's push off into shine. Definitely he's got some new stuff, too. And that is Mr. F in winner's finals, waiting for either Empale or Mushi. Mushi coming out of the other side, and we're going to get that right now. Yeah, and this one's been waiting for a minute. The last match that we saw Mushi play was actually Falco uh, Marth against Teach. And Teach wouldn't mind me saying it was a bit of a fucking wash. Kind of got worked. <laughs> So we're not allowed to talk about the gameplay at all during this set, right? Oh, we're going to talk about the gameplay. George smartly chose the seat farthest away from us. If he <laughs> hears us, he hears us at this point. Uh, it's a little too late in bracket to dick around. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the match. 
George hit me with the thumbs up, signaling to me that he's ready for me to talk about the match. Please uh, tell me that was a hand warmer. Hand warmers for sure. Oh, thank goodness. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, they're into it. Oh, so there's that spot dodge shot. that I've been talking about. It's really, again, another spot dodge. So what we're going to see a lot from Mushi is whiffing aerials. Um, I used to think it was a bad habit of his, but oh, I'm not sure oh, that he's not... Gosh. I'm starting to think that he's kind of... He, he's aware of his spacing. He knows where he's whiffing aerials, and it's a, a purposeful bait. Uh, to whiff aerials too far away for you to whiff punish, and then he hits a spot dodge and gets gets a hit off of it. So it's a bit of a... Fun fact about Mushi. Mushi won a dollar less than the winner of the Baltimore Monthly Tournament when okay. we went down in July. What did he do? Uh, he won doubles with Peen okay. and the Redemption Bracket, which had a $50 oh. prize pool. So he basically won the Baltimore Monthly. Yes. Nice. He did not win the main bracket, but that was Bones. But winning... See you, James. Peace. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, dude. But, he, but, af but after winning doubles with Peen and winning the redemption bracket, uh, Mushi only got one less dollar <laughs> of, a, of a payout <laughs> than, um, than, than Bun said. Yeah, he's a... Nice down tail, by the way. Mushi's a, a bit of a high-level player for a redemption bracket, I think. Well, it was it was just a freak accident kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, he got eliminated a little early. Did they not see him? Um, it was more. It was more of Mushi. Uh, just kind of went straight into it. We got there a little bit late. Ah, uh, okay. Started. So I think that's what happened, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it's rough. All right. Uh, George I'm probably not seated super great either, if I recall correctly. Yeah. George trying to engineer this comeback though. It's not undoable here. Um, he's gonna have to avoid oh. honestly getting hit at all because Mushi's punish game and edge guards are too good. Oh, that's that that's, helps. That's what you need right there. Yep. Just being a little bit too greedy on trying to get a nice edge guard. Yeah, and Mushi's still playing close to the ledge after that happening is crazy. To the me. bravery. Yeah, he's different. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's winter semis. Mm -hmm. Always, yeah. You kind of always read the tech in if you're Marth there. Um, I'm not oh, such a him. nice down there. And is able to finish yep. it out. Take game one. Yep. So from Mushi, and Pal is, I is think, not your everyday Marth. Yeah, I think we gotta be a little either a little cleaner next to the ledge or. Give up that space. Uh, yeah. Falco got a really good, to borrow a term from Ultimate, ledge trapping mm -hmm. game, uh, where if you're in the corner against Falco, he's got one of the best corner pressure mm -hmm. kits in the game. Okay, so this is Falcon. Yep. This has been Mushi's counter pick for Marth for a while. Started out as a secondary, kind of realized, holy shit, my Falcon's nice. I gotta use this shit. And this is a good place to use it. Oh yeah, that's the that's the right thing to do there. Can you dash back out of crouch? And that's that's almost impossible to do unless no you have a controller for it. Yeah, no one can dash back. I think it's fixed actually in 1.3 what we're playing on, but it's still difficult. Somebody tell Mushi we're playing on 1.03. <laughs> yeah, and he shouldn't have missed that. Oh my god. But either way. MPL keeping up so far, up in percent, trying to close out this first stock. Yeah, Mushi's a. Uh, it's it's funny when you can you can do like the the correct thing in melee, but you can't. Sometimes you could do it not well enough, right? Like Mushi's going for some of these overshoots, but he's not overshooting far enough. Mm. <laughs> and Bale's getting that last little uh, foxtrot back and it's getting Mushi. Oh, did he kill him at 60? Almost. Marth killer? Oh, yeah. no air dodge this time. No, a little too low for that. That is a way that you can challenge a Marth your, killer. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Marth can still react, or uh, Falcon can still react there, but it's tougher. It's worth trying. You want to show that you have the capability of mixing it up, at the very least. Exactly. Uh-oh. Okay, how we doing it? Yep. Love the jump out there by Mushi. Make him combo you to kill you, not just uh, F smash. So that works. Took a little damage, but back on stage. Oh, that <laughs> almost gets one. Almost gets one hit in needed for a kill there. Don't get it. Very nice, very nice pushing off the stage and keeping him off by Enfail. Oh, the down smash attempt. Nice way to punish the up smash. Mm -hmm. Probably was supposed to be a short hop uh, up there. Almost definitely. Or yeah. So Falcon's kill. gonna, especially Mushi's Falcon, is gonna want a lot of these. Uh, a lot of these early aerials, so that could happen to him. Mm. Ooh, juicy up air from he's Impale. Up he should be dead. <gasps> oh, I love the fact that Impale went for it. Yeah, I think there are a lot of a lot of Marths, and it might be the right thing to do. Just kind of F smash there, <laughs> or at least run off fair if you're Zane. 
Um, oh, doesn't give me a chance to attack. Knee in your face. That must hurt so bad. Yeah, Mushi's been doing a really good job of nice. corner pressuring oh, Mushi here. Oh, not able to capitalize on the George. ledge. Or the platform, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Me and the ledge platforms don't get along. I refer to one as the other, like, 100% of the time. It's up tilts and up airs for me <laughs> during commentary. I just mess it up. I know the difference, but I'll fuck it up constantly. Look at these hack stashes from Mushi. Not Very nice. Oh, trying to make this, trying to make this Falcon counter pick work. If you can get a lead here going to the last stock, you'll love to see it. Yeah, he had a little momentum going there, but he's off stage. Oh my Something god, that was dangerous. Mm. Oh, that was such a dangerous decision, but it works out for him. Might have been a good no decision. No shield picks on so the down dangerous. tilt, what the heck? Yeah, maybe Mushi angling down, I wouldn't even quite catch it. Just going for the knee in the corner. I didn't see it, but that's neither here nor there. We're yeah. missing we're missing half of the frames anyway, because we're doing 30 FPS. Oh hell yeah. How are we supposed to commentate? Oh! Quick. Really good to not get clipped by the up B there too. That's a lot of confidence. Oh. Oh, but just the raw side beat. Oh nice up there. Oh, but not able to turn it into anything. Yeah, I think Mushi realizing that he uh put himself in danger of going down O2. Is that an up smash? Yeah, that was a turnaround up smash. Oh, let's go, Mushi. <laughs> Yeah, some of these punishers not quite oh, panning out for tag. Mushi. Way to capitalize on the getup. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, rolling in probably safe in there because of yeah that F smash hit the tipper. Yeah. yeah, if it hit the tipper, it would have been a really bad situation. It is Dreamland, but yeah, Falcon yeah. recovering is a bad situation all, all the time. Yeah, Dreamland does right help because we can't do. Uh, oh. We can go to the platforms, make it real no, tough. No, we're not. Oh, the yeah. tipper forward smash. Another okay. last stock situation. No, wait. The first game was not a last stock situation. Never mind. I take it back. It was. Oh, it was? Yep. My so, Mu Mushi down 2-0 here uh, after his counter pick. I think it looked like it could have worked out. Mushi a little sloppy on some of these punishes, honestly. You just know that that what's so hard to do against in terms of against the Marth, the reverse 3-0, is you know that you have to do Final Destination. Uh, and yes, that, but it is a Falcon counter pick. Yes, and so what I'm saying is, is that because of staying with Falcon, hopefully that'll be more possible if Mushi takes game three. We have to have him take game three first, of course, because MPL is playing very well. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Mushi uh, counter picking to Yoshi's. This is commonly considered a Marth counter pick in this matchup. So that's interesting. Mm. Cleric for Taft here to learn about Wild Drive, protecting your privacy, and adjusting your options for sharing data. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. But if I had to read an ad that popped up on my screen, oh, got him! I feel like I'd nail it. Oh yeah. We're getting our reps in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice the. Uh, oh, a down air from the top rope. Oh, I wanted to run off forward air. I did. I wanted the knee. Am I too greedy for asking for a knee all the time? That one might have been a, li a little bit much. <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice down to all. Oh, Shy guys. guy caught it. Yep. Okay. Mushi had. Oh, okay, there we go. Jumping down. And that's the counter pick working for him. Maybe he's seeing that he's got that opportunity to land these straight knees and oh my god, just gets grabbed out of the raptor boost. Okay. Should be dead here. Oh. Yep. Yep, that downward little slight yeah. angle makes that forward smash so much scarier. Yeah, you just have to SDI in tech. Um, tough too, because uh, I don't know, it just didn't feel like the flow of the match was going that way. Oh, these moonwalks. Oh, that down smash. If that would have hit. We've seen a couple of down smash attempts and none of them have worked out so far in this set. Yeah, George has played the counter the counter pick. George is playing Yoshi's really well um, in this situation. It's it's a Marth counter pick, it's considered a Marth counter pick because you can kind of get into Falcon space and box him. And he doesn't get the chance to do these dash dances that make him so good against Marth. That being said, Mushi with a really good opportunity. Dang it, I can't believe I ruined that one too. Yeah, he went for that forward air uh, earlier in the set and worked out for him. That's not quite that time. Oh, very nice. Had the glint to survive that oh, yeah. downhill. Ooh. Was really fast on that one. The fade back doesn't work out this time. No, George, George has been uh, pretty ready to react to these fade backs and just F smash them. So I think it's a. You ever see Scar? Oh, oh and 
and that's an SD. You ever see Scar recover when he was on the Scar and Toe show like back in the day at all? Uh, I've, I have tried to watch one or two Scar and Toe shows, uh, or the reads, not working out super well for me because I listen to them, not watch them. Oh yeah, it doesn't help. They talk about the gameplay a lot. But, but like, I don't get to see what Scar is actually doing with his Falcon. That's, yeah. that's the problem. One of the things I noticed back in the day is he would just always go high. And he would just kind of, like, work his way to a spot where he got high enough. And, he, you know, he'd eat the percent to make it back to stage. And I think Mushi's got to do a little bit of that, honestly. Which, you know, goes bad for Scar sometimes, but you need a little bit of that in you, you know? Very nice up throw to knee. There's a concept in Street Fighter. Uh, where people, you'll hear people say, take the throw a lot. Just take the throw, right? And the idea is that if you're trying to tech the throw, it's really bad if you get blown up with buttons. Uh, you're going to take a lot of damage, whereas if you take the throw, you're just taking throw damage, right? So you just take the throw. It's a risk-reward, right? It's literally take the Falco throw in melee. Yeah, and I, I think here, the same concept applies a bit. Like, Falcon sometimes just has to take the percent and get back to stage, as opposed to trying to go low and not take percent. Okay. What's up, Mary? Who oh, goes to the ledge there? Oh, very nice get up. Oh, found sucks! It's okay. We're problem solving also, around it. We're not anymore. Oh, okay, got just it. a drop knee. Yeah. Gonna clean up that sock. That doesn't feel too bad for either of them. Mushi gets the kill anyway, and George goes, ah, I was on borrow time. You know? Nice okay. reverse up B. Yep, 2-2. Two, two. Mushi trying to bring this one to a game 5. Playing maybe a little more careful around the edge. Oh, uh, neat. Yeah. Really good platform height for George here. Mushi can't put these short hop aerials exactly where he wants yeah, to. So yeah, he that's gets been the there for free. like the past 20 seconds. That's yeah. crazy. I think it's starting to raise up a little bit. Mushi might be able to short hop aerial now. George can. He just proved to us. Oh, I love the back air there, oh, but it didn't quite nice work out for him. Drop back air. Oh, no. Oh, I really want one of these down smashes to work at some point. Uh, it's only a matter of time. Oh, just going for these smash attacks, and I love it. Uh, yeah. The knee's actually going to be what does it. You know, the, oh, let it rip. Let okay. it rip. Okay, it seems like Mushi's kind of realized what he was talking about. We got to go high a little more. Um, George, yeah. See, you Not kind of get force... The yeah, you force the Marth to either space the tipper really well or yeah. do a combo and get you to the other side of the stage, but it's not just F smash and back oh, off, Oh, these right? down airs. Oh, man. Good Ooh. platform height for Mushi here. And that's two up airs. Yeah, maybe... Making this difficult. One more mix up. Make it back on the ledge. And makes it back on the ledge. Good yeah. stuff to impale. Looking makes to close out his edge guard and does. Yep. And now we're down to one stock each. Yeah, 84, a really juicy percent for uh, oh, Mushi, though. Um, should be able to just land one aerial into a knee. Tacking way too many hits. Uh -oh. That down tilt. Okay. Oh, oh, that was so close. Yeah, George really trying to call out that uh, fade back, but it looks like Mushi's made the, adapt the adaptation. It, it really now. felt like okay. Mushi was just trying to walk into the Marth and get a, a hit after take after tanking a hit at low percent, and yeah. it's not working out. Yeah, if the Marth's not careful, you kind of can bulldog in like that as Falcon. Uh, you're real, you're real fast forward, you're real heavy, so you're going to be able to crouch cancel for a really long time. Wait, we, we went, we're going game five for both winter semis matches. Oh yeah. Aren't we lucky? We're so lucky. Oh yeah. And this is kind of what we're talking about, right? There's like three, maybe four people in this room, maybe five, that could win this whole tournament. Oh. Okay. Early Mishi, stock from Mushi. Mushi's staying strong here with the Falcon and not, not letting the fact that it's game five get to his nerves. And by the way, Played like it played like a game eight, game nine grand finals in that redemption bracket oh, with really? Falcon versus Kandeo, who Kandeo entered oh, one of yeah. our online events. Kandeo is good. Yeah, that's good the Marth, right? Yep, yep, great one. And we said we were gonna go down there. <laughs> and, no, uh, we did go down to the ball warm up. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. No, but we told him. It's we on them to come to, up to us yeah. now. Yeah, where's Kandeo? I'm gonna send him the line. I'm gonna <laughs> send him the line. And say, look, this could be you. <laughs> This could be you in Winter Semis going Game 5 with Mushi. Yeah. I think, uh... I know Kandeo wants more Mushi. Not, not to he ask... He's not happy about losing Redemption in the rackets. And <laughs> not to, to ask for too much from the uh, TOs here, but I think we might end up with the uh, Millers and One Please back as well. Oh. And those were weekend tournaments where we were able to put a little popcorn as well. Mm. Put a little um, so we entry get, fee we on get, it. We get people in on a Saturday, and it's just melee in here because <gasps> there's no... Oh, the cover for Mushi! Oh, he... You, I think... He, you were the one who took it away from him. That's I don't think I did. Controversy. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that just happened. I, I think Mushi took it away from Mushi. I think, and and every melee player will understand this, you get a certain, you know, you get a certain opener, you get like a couple of hits in, and you go, man, 
I gotta shit on him here. I gotta finish the clip, right? And you yeah. kind of throw away what would be a good decision for the clip. It happens every once in a while. But Mushi's still up two socks to one. It's not too bad for him. Oh, good. Uh oh my god, he waited so long in the edge there. Oh, misses the knee on that ledge jump. Yeah. By the way, I got legend platform right so far in the past two games. I'm so just impressive. a gamer. I'm a gamer commentator. You're improving. All right, we're getting there. Okay, it does the Kelvin off a ledge. Doesn't quite work. Nice tipper. And we got yep. last stock game five. Yeah, I think George now adapting a little bit to the high recoveries from Mushi. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, that's yep. up there. That's it. Up throw. He's been getting those up throw up airs at high percents pretty often. There. I don't know if that works. Or not. Good, good set by Mushi. Good little comeback. I, I, I like seeing the Falcon workout. Yeah, I like seeing the Falcon workout for him. So we got Mr. F and Mushi waiting in winners finals. I'm not sure what we got down on the loser side. We Let's definitely got George thing. down there. We got Rob Fox. Oh, Rob Rob kitchen table happening on the not stream setup. Oh. Oh, that's a win at 69% for the table game win. But that was a peach counter pick. So it might be 2-0 table right now. Mm. Well, they're going back to Dreamland. Yeah, okay. Might be 2-0. I like this Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, like, one of my favorite things about IRL Melee sets, or commentary, is that, like, commentators every once in a while will be like, oh, shit, something's happening over there. Yeah. Well, at Genesis, when it was top 64, and they had two stream setups, yeah. and so on the one side, it was, um, it was, uh... It was none versus hungry box and none comes with the stomp. And on the other stream they're like, what just happened? What just happened? Everybody's Nothing. freaking out. <laughs> Rob going off stage with the weirdest like up air. I think he was a little too low to hit an air and really good presence of mind. We need pancakes to come back for another peach as well, by the way. Impale Hondo? Yeah, we can throw that on stream. No wrong with that. If if George is ready, because that's that's a tough reverse 3-0. Yeah, the hands might be shaking a little bit. The the blood's might, pumping. Might want to walk it off for a few more minutes, because that was barely five minutes ago. Yep, that is a to decision. That's not something I got to think about. Yep, that's no. We're just talent. Oh, we're yeah. we're the people going. What's going on See, in the venue are, right now? We are the talent. <laughs> we literally are. We Ooh. are under the script Ooh. as talent. Take with the tech skill. I don't know. Why I'm surprised, but I am. <laughs> Well, it's, a, it's particularly tricky because I've seen table play against Pancakes, and Pancakes makes that look easy the last yeah. time I saw them play. So this isn't like an accepted distinction uh, too much in the Smash community, but I'm going to make this distinction for the sake of this conversation. I think, in my opinion, there's a difference between execution and tech skill. I think... Uh, execution, execution is not just about hitting your tech. It's about literally... When not, you're saying to yourself, I'm about to do this move, you do it when yeah. you're supposed to. It's not fucking up, yes. right? Whereas tech skill feels like, I'm going to do something flashy, something fast, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Gotcha. All right, table up three stocks to two, I think on this game three. In, uh, Rob Fox on, on tournament set. This, this would be a pretty big win for table here. Even stocks, a little head shake from table. Not happy about not getting any extra credit there. When TKT is not winning, he's not happy. I like that. I like no, that I a lot. It. Table wants to win every single game he plays. Oh, yeah. I love that. Okay, table tacking on that percent with the neat, with the uh, lasers. Got Rob Fox in the corner. I think table. This is a this is a bit of a moment for table, right? Rob Fox is a, a really difficult player to catch up to, right? He's been playing for a while. Ever since I picked up the game, he's been one of the better players in the region. Table, it's been a long come up. It's been a long come up, but it's always been a consistent come up. And Ooh. now he's two stocks to one. Tournament set or a tournament game with Rob Fox just gets hit on the off the angel platform though. You hate to see it. Yeah. Okay. 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 That the fact percent. that Table's firing so many lasers, yeah, you know showing that right. showing that he's not playing impatient. I love that. Okay. Okay. Careful coming down off the side platforms. You love to see it. Trying to tack on that laser damage. Rob not really giving it to him. Just building up this percent though, which matters so much. Oh, big knockdown for Table. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be next versus Hondo. Oh, the reverse back airs were so good. 
Gets down smash, but not the worst down smash I've ever seen. Are we going for Oh, the safe wave land on. Oh, I love the decision making from Table right now. Still has two stocks. Oh, about to lose. Oh, yep. tried to go for that like tight angle under Rob to not get hit by the forward air. But that 88% is a really good bit of extra credit from Table. I think we're getting into the range where Randy up smash can kill Rob. Randy up air potentially too. Oh, just I think Table knows it. it. That might be it. Big set went for Table, and you can see his hype on it. That might even be a 3-0 on know. Table. I don't know the game count. But that was that was a Table dub. Set dub. That's big. Let's go, Table! Table? I was commentating. Yeah. <laughs> they were getting the radio broadcast of that shit. And meanwhile, on stream, into the mic. <laughs> losers quarters against uh, Impale and Hondo. Yep. Winner of this plays against TKT and loser semi. Oh, I think we're in. I think we're in it. So this is another one that would be a bit of a, a bit of an achievement, a come up, a, a payoff for a bunch of hard work. Mm -hmm. um, Hondo kind of same come up time period as Table actually. If he gets this, this is a big oh, one. Oh, went for it all with that back air. Yeah, Trying honestly, to make a statement. That's the. And that's kind of what I was talking about earlier in, in this set. Like, it's a big theme in locals. Is like, a lot of people build top, high-level players up at locals into somebody they don't think they have to beat or they can beat. But well, the mob can beat Zane at the Cape. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, it's difficult because you kind of build them up and you kind of say to yourself, I have to do something special, right? And that's where that like back air type of thing comes from with Connor. Where I don't think he has to do anything special. I think he's there. I think he has to play his game. It's it's by no means like guaranteed that he's going to win if he plays his game. But I think he can do it, right? And he's got to keep that in his head. Yes, there is that, that, that time where you say to yourself, I'm closer than I ever have been. If I just push a little bit harder, I can get there right now. Whereas in Melee, as you know, there, there's so many levels of incremental growth to get to the point where you can surpass the player that has beaten you right. ever since the beginning. And it can be tough because if you smell blood, you just can get into a frenzy in your mind and push too hard and abandon your game plan. Yeah. And that was something that was really impressive uh, in the table Rob set that we just watched, actually. Table kept his cool. Table looked like he felt like he should win, which is a tough place to get to. And I don't know if Hondo's there yet. We'll see. Having some games against Teach's Mark, you should make you feel good about it, but so yeah. far, so far, oh, definitely behind the start to set. Yeah, and George's Mark is a yep, different so. animal. Oh, they're very, very nice down there. Mm -hmm. George, one of the players uh, in this room, probably contending for a number one spot in 717. Especially um, especially if he's going to come to more events than Peen does. Oh, yeah. Because Peen, of course... Yeah, there was an argument for him getting number one spot in 717 last ranking period. Yeah. Uh, but the panel didn't give it to him. <laughs> Whoever that is. And surprisingly, who showed up? The player who wants, who's still hungry. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. No, yeah. It's kind of like how the, uh, the top 100 panel wanted to give give Mango a little extra juice. Maybe we underrank him a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Keep him outside of the top ten maybe for the we, first time in his career. Yeah, maybe we talk some shit on him like he's washed. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you got three stocks on good players. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> if you're hungry, you can improve. Yep. It's also tough because if you play League of Legends, like, for literally... 40 or 50 hours a week, and then you go to a melee tournament and not finish top eight. How surprising can you know? It's not that. Is that what George does? No, I'm talking about Mango. Oh, Mango. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was yeah, still yeah. on Mango. I was like, damn. Remember Mango's League of Legends arc? Yeah, the League of Legends that arc was, was sad because it was right when he was top like two in the world. It was the Mango Zane tier, and the Mango's like mm, month of league. <laughs> Ooh, George kind of donating one back to Hondo there. Hondo donated one early. Gives it back. It says I don't want it. It's not just spaces who can drop a stock. No. Everybody not at all. can do that. Oh, yeah. Hungrybox has proved you can do that with Puff even. Oh, yeah. The air dodge offstage at whatever major that was was really funny to me. Brilliant. And there was an online set between Hungrybox's Puff and Fluff Samus. Oh, and man. Hungrybox is trying to edge guard Fluff. It's game five. Last stock. <laughs> and he air goes out a little too far. He tries to air dodge track off the stage and he misses it. Oh, no. Not another one. 
<laughs> and Prop wins the set off of an app. Oh, it was man. so funny. I should actually just find that clip and show you. Press one if you feel bad for Hbots. <laughs> Press one for the run. You know that reference? That might have been in the sweet spot where you weren't watching Melee. Doesn't Hungrybox always say press one for whatever? He does, but uh, the there was a like an exhibition match set up, and it was Waff and Hungrybox. Yeah, I've heard about this, but I didn't see it live. Yeah, Waff commentates his own set against Hbox, and he's just talking all the shit, and you see Hbox like falling apart because of the shit talk. It's a whole different game as soon as somebody starts talking during the set and feels like they can like like just make you lose. <laughs> I'm kind of nice in a crew battle for that. And Waff is a really good melee player. Let's not let's not get oh, yeah. twisted. Like, no, but Waff not, is not uh, just a commentator for sure. I think Waff is like probably going to be one of the better melee commentators that you'll see at melee, right? Yeah. Yeah, for at sure. Yeah. Really good player. Ooh, that weak forward air, really nice. Catches him back into the fucking vortex. He's looking like a. Oh, he beat it out the shield grab. Yeah, a rough one for Hondo there. George made a few good uh, early reads. I think the counter pick, I hope it kind of sticks with it. Good. Yeah, it's a good counter pick. I think um, we just got read a couple times, honestly. Really good from George. And Empale's showing the same thing so far with some nice reads. Yeah. Able to get these up. Oh, that would have down tilts. Very nice. Oh, no zipper. Let it be Let it be what God intended with that forward smash. Mm -hmm. Up throw. Oh my god. And the DI behind on the up throw tells me he would have just gotten tippered off of a forward throw forward, forward smash. That's a little scary from Hondo. Okay. Wasn't ready to get pushed off there. I definitely feel like what Hondo Ooh. needs a little bit in a in a future set against Empale. Because it might, you know, how much adjusting can you do at this point? Right. Is uh, is a little bit more of like the advanced movement. They right, got some shield drops, you know, you know, running up and down still, not just simply running in and trying to get a grab at all times. Right. We got to we got to mix. Still, but we got to mix up the type of approach we're doing, the yeah. timings. Um, yeah. Different rhythms, different different yeah. moves. To try to open up and fail. And I feel like I feel like that's more. Ooh. Missing. Wow. That up here was crazy, Armando. Oh, trying to come up with an up air. I love yeah, it. Yeah, George read it. Yep. Oh, no jump. I think Honda's just dead here. Yep. Alright. Nice little bit of percent, though, especially on Marth. That 40% goes a long way. You get into tumble off a of forward tilt, uh -huh. and that's why it's important. Whoa! That's really, what that extra really credit does. <laughs> extra credit for a melee player. Couldn't be me. That was a big 40. Oh, very nice needle. 17%. You're just so happy because you're that much closer to being out of crowd oh. cancel percent. Yeah. And as you're saying it, Kondo almost, Kondo almost getting a huge open up of, uh, off oh. of that. Yep. Can't do that on the stage. That's why it's such a good counter pick. <laughs> wow, that grab. This out oh. platform becomes a lot safer. Outspace the down tilt with his grab. That was crazy. Oh, a little bit difficult to get in the ledge there for Impale. Trying to come up with a forward air. And it's, just like, it's like a little bit rushed. Again, nice amount of extra credit. We got 63 on him. Corner pressuring him. A lot of patience from Connor. Yeah. Not, not being drawn in there. Right. And knowing, knowing the situation. Like oh. I'm the one who has advantage here. Like I don't go to him. He comes to me. Oh yeah. That was really oh, smart. Oh my god, that whiff punish. Okay. Oh, and there's something yeah. to be said about George. Um, keeping that that calm right like the timer is not going to come into play in any of these sets so like if you're down ooh, i think he called it a double jump if you're down you don't actually have to approach right because the timer oh, is not going into play saw a counter on this set. yeah really good to do it getting up from ledge there oh the reset oh Fair my enough. god resetting invincibility there was really brave yep before it's on the corner that's an easy forward jump. That should be it. Nice. Alright, let's see if Hondo can get on the board here. Definitely definitely looking like he's close. Oh, Ooh. except for that's probably going to do it. Because yeah. It's in a really bad Just position. the wrong DI. I think that's Hondo can takes. take some confidence away from that. He dropped some stuff and still aren't that close with Impale. Look good. GG's.
now, so now we're coming to our top four. In winners finals, we have Mr. F versus Mushi, mm -hmm. and then in the loser semis, we got Kitchen Table versus Empel. Loser semis, yeah. The only thing we're missing on the overlay is like what round it is. I actually took it off because I knew it wouldn't get updated. But you didn't account for me. I love updating stuff on this thing. We can add a text box for the round. Add it, it was to right what? below the helmet. You say it's too late. It's not too late. Okay, yeah. Add it. Actually, just double click on this and put the round. Like hit return or uh, right click. Sorry. Properties. It's on the right. Whoa. It's weird. Yeah. What? What the? And then you can hit return here. Okay. And you can type the round. Enter. And then you can type the round. Oh, okay. Yep. I probably don't have to tell you this, but Yep. Sounds good. All right, so we got Table. Fresh off with oh, big old Ralph Fox win. Massive for him. Yeah. I could tell he wanted it. That was, that was real fun. i never seen Table play like that. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Oh yeah. I've never seen him commit to, to that like that. That's a scary player. A, a camping table? Fucking dangerous. Oh yeah. He's definitely got the ability. Alright, so now we got... We got maybe a bit of a, a demon for table here. Just in general, a good mark. Wow, that jab! Also, color change. Is this like Gamer Impale coming out? This is a, oh, what a tipper. channeling Mewtwo King, maybe. Yeah. Is that the Marth of Empel's choice? Was that what got him into Marth? Or it was the Marth of everybody's choice until Mewtwo King retired. Uh, like, think about it. Mewtwo King was just the Marth since like 2006. So every Marth coming up was just like, yep, I'm a Mewtwo King guy. Maybe not 2006, the, but pretty fucking early. Oh yeah, of course, of course. But then, then there's a certain point. Not all these players uh, started before the Doc era. Um, or during the Doc era. If you started during the Doc era, you're a Music King guy for sure. But what about what about PP's Pee uh, mark? You could be, but if you started during the Doc era, you didn't get to see PP Pee Pee play live. That's true. That's so true. you got to see Music King, and you got to hear the Music King chants and the A's, and and you got to see him look confused when he won Summit. You got to see him win that Smash Con. Can you <laughs> tell him a Music King guy? <laughs> oh, very nice mark killer. Mm -hmm. And we're a minute and a half in, and it's down to two stock stage. I love that. Oh, nice slide off. Yeah, you can't go for that up till or that up air there anymore. Um, yeah, I think unless you're gonna, ready to cover the table's going to need off. to respect the platform of how Ampale is able to just swing that big old sword. Right, right. We might be in need, in need of a, a little bit of whiff punishing or a little Table, bit of a. Table's definitely getting. Oh, okay. I right. had the right idea. Mm -hmm. There it is. That little weight to look for that double jump, that's the difference between somebody who can beat this level player and somebody who can't, honestly. Just that little bit of looking for that second level of what's happening and not just swinging at somebody with good spacing in the corner, right? And George and, uh, George and Table both have that. Oh, a dash grab, really slow. <clears throat> oh, the reverse. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Wow, good I've, angle. I've heard tell that George couldn't... Um, jump cancel grab for a really long time. Mm. Oh, that might be it. Just really poor position. Oh my god, big pressure! Oh, that oh, jab, jab. Is... Table's crazy. Oh, I thought that was going to be up smash if we could just get up there. Yeah, okay, see, now I want to get hard. Right, that's so good. Oh, look at the patience. And very nice nair, and the second nair is going to do it for mm -hmm. weight. Yeah, okay, it's yeah, going to do it for So, one. that was really promising for Table, though. He had that, like, run him over... Uh, phase in there, right? He was just like all over him, on him, on him, on him. George made that space, and Table got out of that mode, right? That was kind of a uh, old Table's downfall, right? Mm. He would get in that run him over mode, it would work while you're close, but then you all of a sudden make that space, and Table thinks he can keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Right. And you get punished for it. Um, it's really nice kind of reset in game, too, but ooh, Impale is really good movement, too. Did you see that wiggle out? My god, Table. <laughs> okay, so table's a, a wiggle out of tumble type of guy. Oh no. Yep. Well, this is 1.03. Wiggling out is easier, supposedly. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, they changed the uh, values on it? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, that's what they did for UCF version 0.8. They made wiggling out more possible because for the longest time, wiggling out was hard because it went against the principle of being able to dash back. Right. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, right? So you. 
Okay, I see. Without knowing the right technical terms, like it increases the dashback window, but increasing the dashback window means you can't wiggle out as fast. Makes sense. So you don't wiggle out as much in general, but then in version 0.8, they supposedly fix that for UCF, and 1.03 does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, table going for that um, slide off, but George ready to cover it that time. <laughs> I like that, like, just, like, the edge cancel it. thing? Oh, this? Well, no, not an edge cancel. Like, you're you're going against the ledge there, but yeah. then a little bit of you comes forward. Yeah. It just mixes oh up how far you go. You got a grab off that. See? I love it. Uh, uh, punish off of your up the... It's fine. Oh, my God. All 14 frames. <laughs> not great DI play. on the Nair. No, but you got to be confident if your table here at six, uh, with 60 on him. This is, like, one opening. Oh, but keeps uh -oh. jumping into these nares. Yeah, the problem right is now. Ooh! What? Just pulling that out of nowhere. That was oh. like seven. <laughs> that was like a septa sign. The shine movement. He should be dead here. Oh, that up air just didn't come out. I don't know if you guys jumped back. He did. Okay. Still alive. Good DI. No jump. Oh, that was. Oh no! Oh. Wow, look at that down smash! Oh! Oh, that was so smart from Table. The presence of mind there to go for that down smash was right. ridiculous. I've never seen anybody do that, but Table did it. Okay, now we gotta see if we can put on a little percent, right? Okay. We're looking to get him out of the okay. range these, where. These nares have been, have been really important for Impale, getting out the nings. Really good on Table not to come down with an aerial there. Okay, might be dead. Gets caught in the lasers a little bit too much. Oh, he might be living here. Good DI. Light hit back here, not quite enough. Oh! Go straight in the- Oh, ledge jump. I but think he SDI'd out of the, the Nair. That looked yeah. crazy. I don't know if it was on purpose, but if it was, it was crazy. Oh, almost missed the- uh, Oh, sorry, almost oh, got the grab and Look at all this percent Table's putting on. Oh. Catches the tournament winner out of the corner, that might be it. Nope, not quite. Once you get over 100%, it starts to look a lot more likely on this Yeah, no, this is still anybody's game. George's punch game's been crazy. One uh, hit, one grab, one hit. Yeah, I will say, off. though, Table's leveled up in oh. his defensive game. Some of these easier follow-ups on table aren't working anymore. He's crouch canceling. He's doing slide-offs. Uh -oh. oh, but off uh -oh. stage. Oh, how Good. much did he level up? Oh. Yeah, that's, it. that's all it takes. All right, so that's up 2-0 for Impale. Kind of steals that one away from table a little bit. That's like such. That's such an amazing thing as a Marth player, where you get a fox off stage and you go, "This is my game." Oh yeah. And then oh, it just feels happens. Good. It feels good because you know that they've probably got, you know, they know what you're going to do, you know what you're going to do. But can you avoid it in the heat of the moment? When it's last stock, and you're about to go down 2-0. It's tough to do. You're putting them in a mental situation. A difficult M -Hell's mental situation. trying to close the door super hard right now. Yeah, I think now you play like a bully. Yeah, you go for that shit. I was actually thinking, when I said play like a bully, that was exactly what I meant. I think you go for that shit. You're kind of trying to de demoralize the fox a little bit here. And really, what you're trying to do is extinguish a volcano. It is so hard yeah, to get especially with table. The table off. Yeah. Because table can still get back into this if, uh, if if he gets a good opening. That's a very nice down there. Yeah, a little frustration coming out from table there. Oh, get the top smash. The tipper. Oh, he might be dead what? here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. He's getting marked a little bit. Okay. Oh, I like trying to go down there with the up B when you see the fox didn't uh, up B from too low. Okay. Stops Gets the kill out. Yep. Alright. What are we doing with the invincibility? Runs through him. Nice. Really good by table. He's nares. Oh my god, he followed up off of that shine? What in that case? He's so good. Oh, he just oh, ran him down. All of a sudden, table about to get back in it. He's got him in the corner. Oh. My man Impale's got table in the corner. Oh, counters the shine of all things. Yeah, it's coming out the uh, exact right amount of time. This might be it here. You can just go down there. Oh, makes it back to stage. Yeah, Randall made that complicated. That was tough. Yep. Okay, definitely in it for table. Definitely could happen here. Oh, not the short hop off the side plat. If you're a Fox watching this, that short hop off the side plat is what every Mars looking for. Okay. Oh, oh. Randall coming into play again. Oh, look at that drill. Okay, we got him off stage. This could be it. Oh, George's not going off going of it. for the forward smash yeah. to finish that out. Very smart from George. Uh, understandably frustrated his table. Um, that was a close one. Table definitely could have gotten that. No Shakes handshake. his head no, no for the handshake. handshake. 
That's, that's, that's grimy. I, to, I think he we realizes. Have, we, have to call it, we have to call it like it is. That's grimy. It's a little grimy from table. That's definitely grimy. I think, uh, and that reaction comes from the type of game that George was playing, <laughs> which was the right type of game. I think there you go for that mental game, right? Some of the punishes you go for, you're trying to break the other player's mental as as, far, as Marth there. Right. Because the other thing is is that Empel knows he'll play table again as soon as next week. Yeah. And you, you, you if for a PR season, you want to keep that mental game up. I didn't do any mental games. I was just playing. I think... Up throw and then a forward smash? <laughs> I think... Uh, uh, I that's okay. Just, like, I think you were playing well. I think that was all good. Good shit, dude. 3-0. Yeah, 3-0. Yeah. That was a close 3-0, genuinely. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. But this we got is, winners finals. This is winners finals. So Mr. Let, me ahead, let me go ahead and change everything like I said I would. So this might be a, a bit of a good matchup uh, for Mushi to run into in winners finals here, right? Like some of the Mushi killers here, George, Rob Fox, he's not running into a winners finals. Uh, to run into a Spacey slash Falcon, it's looking good for Mushi. If I'm honest. Uh, we're going to have to do a little deductive reasoning here again to figure out which Falco is which. I think we've got Mushi on Vanilla, probably. Uh, but we'll have to see. I'm not really watching the gameplay quite yet. Because I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> I'm uh, we'll figure doing it out. this at a we'll semi-reasonable rate. No, you're moving. You're doing great. No! What? Why does Return not do okay? okay. Yeah, because it's got to it's gotta do Return. Okay, we got the F-Smash off stage. Mushi's on Red Falco, I think. Why doesn't anybody do tags anymore? Mm. Especially in the Ditto. I'm just saying, like... Oh, gets the roll in. Does Red Falco... Well, let's just assume that Red... Mushu. We're gonna say Red Falco is... is Mushi. That's what we're... Or, sorry, is, the Vanilla and Falco is Mushi. Excuse me. I think it might be Red. <laughs> I can't... We'll, we'll figure it out after this stock. We'll watch we their hands. We, yeah, we should've figured it out. I was trying to watch their hands, but... There was, there was a little bit of something something in the way. I'm going to talk about it. Okay, yeah, Mushi's red. Okay, Mushi's red. Alright, very good. Okay. Got the opening. This could be a kill here. Yeah, tough to keep Falco from dropping the ledge there. Uh, that might be it though. Yeah. Alright. Even at two stocks to two. Mushi looking. I was going to say looking like he's moving. Whoa, those are lasers. really fast lasers. That was, those are almost flash level lasers. Flash has the fastest Falco lasers I've ever seen. Does he? Is, is he one of those people that um, probably practices with the green flashes in a 20XX? Probably. Uh, flash is, uh, is an Ohio Falco. Mm -hmm. Dunked on Ginger at Riptide last year. I, I think I remember that set actually, now that you mention it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ginger was so mad because it was Ohio versus Michigan as well. Screaming. And everyone in the venue was giving him shit, was giving Ginger shit. That's how it's, it's going to so be. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah, but afterwards, Ginger went, was it on bad a, shit? Was, went on a tirade on Twitter. It was like, everybody was so disrespectful to me. Uh, and, yeah, see, and, it depends what they're saying. You right. Know? I don't think I don't think he said what they said. He was like, it was, it, you guys went in a little hard. Yeah, I think uh, if you're saying, I think you like even, what's even in in play is like, oh, this guy's playing like shit. Like this guy, this guy's nervous. He's spot out. Like that type of thing. Like you're talking about the game and it's a little disrespectful. This guy sucks. Mm -hmm. Run it. I don't give a fuck. If you start talking about people, then we're kind of getting questionable. Oh, Mushi. Very nice four times. Oh, a demanding, a commanding. I mean, last stock from Mushi. Shakes his head, looking at Rob at the end there. Now these two, I saw them on the friendly setup uh, for a good while. What's the art? The oh, R red. red. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm trying Smart. to. I'm trying to do this for posterity's sake. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Mr. F taking him back to FD. Wait, uh, we why did we start on FD, by the way? <laughs> they both like it. I guess so. Okay. You can gentlemen. Ooh. Does that mean we can gentlemen to Poke folks? Yeah. I don't think they banned it. No, no, you can do that. You can do that at, like, majors. <laughs> no, some majors have actually outright banned uh, uh, gentlemen into... To, yeah, they, they did that at a place like the Hummel. That's pretty new. Grand finals for Ultimate is happening, in case that wasn't obvious. Okay. I think, uh... I think Mr. F clearly a big old... Big old FD fan. Mm -hmm. I saw him take... What was it, Table? Yeah. It's FD? Yeah. Which is interesting. One, well, the reason why Ooh, I like FD didn't is make it back. No platforms, you know? It's very... Yeah. It, it, I mean, even if it's not the best stage for your character, if you like it, 
if you like it, that helps too. Like, in yeah. Melee, you can play well enough on the stage that you like. Yeah, I think Mr. F um, definitely thinks of himself as a laser-heavy Falco. I think we're... I, I would think he does, at least. Looking at the way he's playing, it makes a lot of sense that he likes FD. But I love Mushi here. I think it's so hard to beat him. Well, it's starting to pull away with this now. It looked close at first, but Mushi is playing like he wants to win this tournament. Yeah, Mr. F might have to give up his uh, his favorite counter pick here, because oh. this is looking fucked up. Oh, oh nice down tilt. Okay. Oh, oh, didn't get the... It. Yeah, just missed base a little bit. Shine on shield might be it for Mr. F here. Might be about to go down 2-0. Nope, gets a reverse back here. Dash attack. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to get... Just the down smash right away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think he read nice. the tech in. I can't tell. Dead. All okay. right, so there's a world where two major things happen where Mushi loses both of his lives, but yeah. 140. I think at this no point, Mushi would kind of... I think Mushu would kind of have to SD at this point, um, well, given yeah. that the light, light down air, light air, that up tilt, wow, is gonna up tilt's it. gonna kill. Yeah. I was gonna say light down air and air start to co combo into like strong aerials and kill at this percent. So, oh wow, staying F stubborn with it, going back F to FD. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, we're playing that lazy <laughs> battle. So what happens a lot in this Falco matchup? Um, at least, I don't know what happens at top level. They're better than me. But I can tell what's happening here, right? What happens is the Falcos want to stay up, establish laser control, right? Yeah. So, like, as soon as you hit a laser before the opponent, you can then hit a laser before the opponent gets another laser out. Mm. So you're going to see a lot of these situations where they're just kind of standing there, shooting short hop lasers at each other, and trying to get first so that they can approach. For those of you who wish that you could see what <laughs> I am seeing is J-Bob doing a short hop laser IRL. I, I was doing that. I was bouncing in my street seat a little bit. Uh -huh. I needed to demonstrate. Yes. Did it along with the We both have nervous rhythm. energy. I've been tapping my leg most of the time. Oh, me too. <laughs> I bet they can actually hear it because I've, I've noticed the, the line going up down there when I'm moving my legs well, around too much. this microphone is also in the red constantly, all the time. It doesn't yeah, matter. I think, I think next uh, next week we got to I'm make interested up. to see how this recording turns out. Yeah, me too. Next week, uh, we got to make a couple of changes um, to the recording setup, but we'll figure it out. Oh! Oh, nice. Oh, that was so smash. good by Mr. F. Baiting out that shield grab with the uh, empty hop. Ridiculous. Okay, if Mr. F wins this game, does Mushi go back to FD to seal the deal? I think Mushi takes him to Yoshi's. Okay, no, I'm just going for blood. Like, I'm yeah, winning the tournament. I think he just wants to win. Okay, well, Mr. F has a nice little spot of moment. Okay, about to lose it. There goes the momentum. Yep, there goes. <laughs> I took it away, I have to say. Yeah. I feel like I was. Yeah, uh, you've been cursing fools. I've been. I'm trying not to. It's so hard, though. I'm realizing it's quite hard. Oh, there he goes. And I think is probably thinking he had the tech, thinking he was going to get hit, but uh, didn't quite work out that way. So George waiting for the losers of this in losers finals, right? Yes. You don't want to drop down to losers finals against against uh, a Marth if you're one of these Falcos. This is a, a big set for both of them. And Mpel's resting up right now, so no losers run fatigue. For yeah, losers, losers is a big scary. And of course, obviously, we have to remember, winner's side grants. You only have one set that you have to win, and the loser has to win two sets. Yeah, Mushi opening it up with a big combo. Taking a big lead here. Oh, there's the opening he was looking for. I think trying to bait out that forward air, but Mr. F's drift caught him a little off guard. Oh my god. Gets him off stage. Trying so hard to drop him below the stage, didn't quite get it. Yeah, Mr. F really good at getting oh, these. Up. He's really good at getting these uh uppies and side bees out right after the, the laser. So Mushi can't really do that like easy edge guard flow chart right there. Like that. I love forward smashing out the ledge as Falco. That's my favorite thing to do. Oh it's so good. When they're dropping down like that, it's so active. Yep. It just stays out forever. Yep. That's the real bear trap. You know how Hungrybox calls the puff, grounded puff, uh, side B, the bear trap? Yeah. No, Falco's floor smash is the real bear trap. Oh, definitely. Gets him? Oh, he didn't even have his jump. Okay. Mr. F on winner's side stock. 
Yep. Okay, he's got him in the corner. Hits him with the 2010. Works out. And at low damage, you can work with this. You just can't. Oh, okay. You can tell that Mr. F is trying really hard to preserve his percent. Oh, and he doesn't make it back to the ledge. Okay. That's going to do it. All right. So Mr. F going down to losers to play against Impale. We, we might, yeah, stay there. We might see the run back in Grands. We might not. Who knows? We saw we saw Impale Mushi earlier in the Properties. earlier in the tournament, right? Uh, without, I'm focusing on this, so my brain is only 25 percent functional. Fair, run it. Whoa, you what focus. the? Give me one second. There. <laughs> And they're playing too. Uh -oh. It's okay. That's their fault. There, now it's no delay. I'll figure it out next week, dang it. I only have the Okay, so so far trading small hits until that just happened, a forward smash, just a raw forward smash. Okay. Impale up, up big. Yep. They were just trading hits, and then Impale just throws out a forward smash and it tippers. And Falco's dead at like 85. Oh man. Bad DI on the forward smash, admittedly. But Falco's just dead. Shield break. Yep. Shield er, poke. Shield poke, sorry. I was, yep. I was, yeah, I was in the process of correcting you, but I knew thank what you, you meant you. as soon as you said it. Appreciate it. We look after each other. Oh boy. The true team, the true doubles of the melee world is actually the co-commentators. Oh yeah. Because doubles is dead. <laughs> <laughs> You'll catch heat from the doubles lovers there. <laughs> well, I need to cause controversy. We haven't been able to cause any controversy so far in this tournament. That's true. We gotta make people mad at us. Because yeah. oh, then they pay so attention to us. Yeah. Yep. We live in a society. Mm. Okay. Mushi cleans up the stock. By the way, if anybody if anybody from Double wants to get mad at me for saying that Doubles is dead, you have to win the next big Doubles tournament and tell me that Doubles is dead, or not dead, excuse me. What is the next big Doubles tournament? Oh. Mm. Probably just Major. <laughs> Wait, does Big House run Doubles? Uh, yes it will. Okay. I couldn't remember if Ra uh... They're gonna do Cruise as well, I'm pretty sure. I couldn't, oh, I couldn't nah. remember if Jungle Guy was like a big doubles lover or he hated it. It was one or the other. Well, he hated wobbling. Yeah. I know that. Because there's literally still sets of Big House 2 or whatever where somebody's getting wobbled and, and, and Michigan Smash YouTube channel will be like, this is so dumb, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. <laughs> there were a couple, if I remember right, there were a couple of big houses where wobbling was banned and it like wasn't generally banned. Right. It's super funny. Well, Rob's tournament can do whatever he wants. Yeah, just flexes that power. And big house is a well run tournament. Was he at, was he at SmashCon? Robin? No, uh, uh, actually, yes, I think so. I was going to say, I thought I saw him by the chess area, but I wasn't sure. Yes, he was doing the chess thing. He was okay. there as the chess.com guy. Yeah. He works for chess.com. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I like vaguely put that together, but I didn't want to like, I wasn't sure. Oh, what are we doing? We're we turning Rumble off? I don't know what happened there. But Impale up 1 0. Wait a minute. Never mind. Uh, for another day, for another day. Yeah. I thought it was something about the lag, and I'm like, you know what? I should just forget it. Yeah. Just forget it. Yeah, it's, I... it's a laggy setup. That's the controversy. We have a laggy it setup for, for all of these important losers I'm finals, a... losers semis, win finals, grand finals. IMO should be replayed now. Oh, damn. We have time. <laughs> You want Absolutely to be here? don't. You want to be here till midnight? My my voice doesn't have time. I've been commentating this whole tournament. <laughs> and you have been drinking very little water. I have been drinking no water. I don't trust water fountains yet. <laughs> so, you don't have a water bottle? And you came to commentate? You're not here for the grind. Yeah, I'm actually not real. Oh my gosh. The I'm commentator who came to commentate didn't even bring a water bottle. Yeah, dumb. I need to ask any of the MU kids if the... Uh, the dining halls are open, if any of them are. Mm. At 9.50? A couple of them stayed open until 11 when I went here. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no down air. No down air, yeah. He's dead anyway. Yeah. You just drop down there against Falco? Yep, of course. That's why you don't even have to armada shine him. Just got no hitbox. 
Oh my god. Oh, that whip grab, grab was so oh, scary. But makes it back to stage. Yeah, that god, honestly. But hasn't been able to. Okay, has now officially. Oh, but put himself back in the corner. Oh, but this doesn't matter because you can do shield grabs, baby. Yeah, getting shield grabbed by Falco is more uh, like embarrassing. This is scary. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, till. Recognizing that the range is still real. Oh my god. Just rip it. Ship it. Oh, he tried to uh, PC drop to ledge, but didn't quite get it. Yep. And then he's, he's like, okay, now what? <laughs> oh, love falling through there. Yep, that's the MPL special. <sighs> MPL dash has, back MPL out of dash has some very crispy falling up airs. Did you see him dash on, or wave dash under no. that nair? He I wave dashed under the nair to the other side and the forward smashed him. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> And I love seeing movement like that because that's melee movement. You're yeah. not going to see that in any ult shit. Nope. Okay. That's, that's true. Ooh. Georgia almost, to be fair to him, almost got the SDI there. <laughs> so far in this counter kick, it's looking really close. Of course, things. The, the thing about Mr. F is that he loves FD, so does he love FD against Impale? We'll, we'll have to find out if he takes this game. Yeah, honestly, uh, I, George doesn't strike me as an FD Marth, so. Wait, it might what not if, be what too if we bad go to what if we go to FD either way? We what, might. If, what if Mr. F loses this game and counterpicks to FD? We <laughs> might be heading there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Not so. Not threatening. Oh, very, very nice. Just just react to the down, to the up coming out and jump to ledge. Yeah. 55 to like oh. 60. Oh, wow. Look at grab. Okay, that was a nice wall jump. Oh, yeah, you can't be going for that second one. But I think he's oh. fine. Oh, another whiffed grab in the corner yeah. is going to cost him. Very good DI. Must have must have expected to not be a uh, Ken combo. Must have been like, yeah, I'm not getting Ken combo. Oh, what a nice angle! Yeah, George kind of just messed up his jump to ledge, I guess it was. Uh, you know what I'm noticing it. Mr. F doing in this game? Like, he's not running all the way in. I think he's undershooting a lot of approaches and waiting yeah. for waiting for Impale to throw out on me. Yeah, you gotta be really careful about how you approach this Falco in this matchup. You just, your stocks evaporate. Okay. Yep, Nair, that's a good move. I wonder, because wow. I, I, I haven't seen Impale do a lot of reverse up B or up B hits, mm -hmm. because that's another good aerial in the air. Once you get a high enough percentage, ooh, ooh, does not he get have. the, does not, okay. He's, yeah, he's losing the game for these, uh, these And missed the down air. Hopefully that won't matter. Wait, matter. wait, it's going to matter because I said it. Okay, we're good. Well, you know, I get saved. not really I good, saved. but, yeah. So, we're not going to FD? I think we're going FD. Is it because you have to? Yeah. <laughs> if you're a Mark. <laughs> Playing against the Spacey, yeah. you have to go to FD. Yeah, even if you're not like an FD Marth, like, um... Yep. I mean, you can drop it and still get a re grab and pick it up. Yeah, like there were, uh... Marths back in the day, there were a few Marths that were not FD Marths. Uh, I'm not gonna name the one. Um, because redacted or because yeah, you don't want to do okay. Because oh, he was. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Never mind. He was not an FD Marth at all, but he would always counterpick to FD. And I think literally just because. What are you gonna do? Not go there? Right. And of course, if Pokemon Stadium was frozen back then, that's an easier counterpick to justify yeah, in your head. Like, for sure. Like, oh, okay, I ha there's no middle platform, so right, but I, you, like, I like that stage. But you cannot bring a Spacey to unfrozen Pokemon Stadium in good faith. You get rolled on the transportation transformations. Yeah. Yeah, Spacey's live for transfer. Oh, you got him. Oh, but drops it. Yeah, I mean, that was a tough angle to cover because you're not, you're never sure if you can go for the uh, counter. And that's a pretty big swing because now it's 20% on the, on each, or not each stock, but instead of having only two stocks or a high percent, uh, Mr. F is keeping this close. Okay, yeah, Mr. F going for the max mash out whenever he's getting grabbed, and I respect it. Because when you go above 20%, in my mind, I'm like, forget it, I'm not mashing. Why yeah. would I mash? Um, so a big reason to go for the mash, especially on FD, is it actually messes with some people's practice on their chain grabs, right? Uh, so early on in, in my time playing Melee, when I was practicing the chain grab, I would practice it with a single pummel between each grab. And, you know, from like 10 down, Spacey started mashing out. Uh, and then me going for it, me uh, trying to go for the chain grab without mashing was really difficult for me because that's not what I practiced, right? So like that mashing, even if it doesn't get you out of the grab, it makes the, the person think like, oh, my rhythm's gone, mm -hmm. right? I have to worry about this. 
Oh, the dash deck just clips him. Really scary position for Mr. F here. Uh, you really want to clean it up before this happens. And it's happening. And it's happening, yeah. Oh, great dash attack. Me. Another great dash oh, attack. I was, oh, I really wanted that to be an up smash, actually. That was, yeah, that was hot, though. That was very that was nice. good. And this is why it was a scary position, right? You're in that position where, like, okay, I could get this kill right now at 40, or I could lose a whole other stop, right? And and Falco does not have the same shine to Gimp Marth as Fox does. So yeah. you want to get those, you want to get those pillar combos. But I haven't seen Mr. F consistently hit that against Zempel. So it's it's hard. Yeah, you all of your combos kind of have to be super legit. It's going to be hard to uh, get like yeah. It's going to be hard to to match Marth's punish game on the stage. Oh. Isn't their tournament over? Why aren't we on the projector? He still grants. We don't get the projector. We're chop liver here. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you gotta understand. They get like 50 person weeklies because it's college. Yep. But if the tournament's still happening, I especially understand why. Yeah. Okay. I think he's got him off stage without a jump. Oh, just went to ledge. Okay. Oh, oh he missed his dash back. It. Yep. Oh. That almost really? hit too. Yeah, really good drift by George not to get comboed there. Oh, and it just works because it's Falco's Ooh. Phantasm, baby. Okay, another, another chance. Oh, okay, makes it back to the ledge without having to use the D-move. Best case scenario for you there. Yep. Uh, misses the the stage. Yeah, I and like that, that from George. Game three in favor of the oh. Yeah, when you're up like that, uh, I like I actually like George playing really risk averse. Like we've seen him reacting to uppies and going out there and snuffing them. Yep. We didn't see it there, right? Because he's like, okay, I can just kind of rinse repeat this nair. I'm gonna get him to high percent. Um, the way he loses that is throwing a stock away, and he didn't give himself the chance to do that. So where does Mr. F go? We see him counterpick to Final Destination. It's gotta be Dreamline. Battlefield. So he's taking him back to Battlefield. I, I would think Dreamline, especially with his playstyle, but we'll see. The thing is, is that like you said, the swings of the Mars Sword will not really do much to you on the on a Dreamland. But no, then here yeah. it matters more because then the Mars swings do do hit you. Yeah, Battlefield Prats are one of the harder platforms to follow up on uh, in this game. Uh, they're just a little little easier than Dreamland. Okay, reacts. Nice. Wow, the spot dodge got him through both hits in there. There. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. No harm, no foul. Some harm, some foul. Oh, maybe we'll make it back without having to use the main move. Ooh. Looking for the missed tech there. Didn't quite get it. Every now and again, those lasers hit, and it makes you think, yeah, I can do this again a bunch of times in a row. And not hit lasers, but I can remember this one time where I hit a laser as I was falling down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody's got, I think every Falco's got the story of like the one guy that caught off guard from that yeah. and like made him swing and like SD and like won him set. Yep. Andrew's got a good one. Is that a Westchester weekly? Olash. Oh, Olash. Let's go. Oh, Westchester? Yeah. Maybe Valerie Wonderland was running those. Uh, yeah, she was, I think. Oh, let's go. Shout out to Valerie Wonderland. Yeah, one of the better TOs in this area. Um, that is now no longer in this area. Yeah, right. Japan, right? Japan, yep. Sad. What a shame. I mean, that's cool, cool for, Good her, for her, sad, yeah. sad for us. <laughs> Is that Jet Program? Probably? Uh, I'm not sure if that's what she's doing anymore, actually. No, really? Wow. Oh my god! Oh, that was so good! Okay. Okay. No kill move there, just kind of ops for the forward air, trying to get him off the stage. Mr. F, some really good DI on that. But, George kind of has him... Oh, 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 dashing away from the grab. I was going to say George has him whiffing a little bit. Okay, still got him in the corner. Mr. F still definitely at disadvantage here, but George got to clean this up soon. He's taking a lot of percent. Yep. I'm not able to be able to, not able to get George into a good position. Yeah. Okay, and cleaned up. High stocks. Yeah. 60% is still a lot though. It is. So we're looking at the, oh, uh oh. Trying to just... Oh, what? Made Good recovery from stage. Mr. F there. Okay, yep, yeah, very nice. Four smash. Oh my god, that was so brave. It worked, so it was brave. Okay. Oh no. Didn't get the hit of up air that he thought he would get. 
And okay. even with the bad hit of Horde Smash, still kills Marth off the top. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So Mr. F looking to take it through a game five. Maybe get a little percent on. Okay. Catch the roll in, does George? Oh, nice angle. That's so hard to avoid the down tilt. Yeah. Oh my god, Phantoms. <laughs> that might be it. Oh, yeah. what right. a forward smash. Not too much extra cred. Definitely doable for George. That was so fucking scary. Oh, he gets the knockdown. Oh, he didn't get the dash back. I think he even read that tech option. Oh, what a oh, what charge the fuck? forward smash. When in doubt, let it rip. Yeah, George really looking like he has oh, a nice bit of a read on these uh, laser patterns from Mr. F. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just oh, what a, what a call. Yeah, that's what you do there. All right, game five. Where do you think we're going? Probably... I don't know. This is a tough one. So we already took FD away. Uh, Pokemon so, might be out of the question. Or Yoshi's story? Yeah, okay, makes sense. I think Pokemon and FD were the two that he won on, so it makes sense that we got Yoshi's. I think uh, given the way George was reacting to Mr. F's laser approaches, this is a really good uh, counter pick for him. He had a good read on when Mr. F was going to go in. Okay, yep, yeah, that is impossible. For Marth to not miss on that. Falco can't actually side beat the wall. Right, yeah, he just down tilts him. Okay. Very nice out sound. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, he tried to go for the uh... Tried to catch the slide off. It's 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Drew not understanding what game 5 is. I think he was asking if George was in losers. He thought it was grands. Oh. Okay. I saw hack stash from George. Love to see that in the clutch. Ooh. Yeah. Mr. F kind of fishing for that crouch cancel S smash there, but uh, George not realizing it in time. And, and this is close. This is close. Oh, yeah. Don't hair dodge like that. Uh oh. Okay. Good reaction. A little jab reset? Yeah, you're always ready for the jab reset there when you get that sour spot. For some reason, people just miss that tech. Oh, the forward air almost resulting in the kill for him. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's nice. Yep. Oh, got you see that hipper. You see that DI on the side plat, and you know they're going to the top plat. Every single Marth in the world is going, oh, fuck yeah, I got the kill. <laughs> They DI off, DI off stage, you gotta do a little more stuff that's scary. Oh, I think, uh, Wait, down throw. I think George no might be thinking down throw counter. Um, next time he gets near the ledge. At least I would. So let me see. That might be how he wins this set. I hate that we have to talk quietly about how people win the set. Oh, yeah, I mean, that is a big old, that is a big old read that I might Ooh. give him there. But it would work against these, uh, <laughs> these recoveries from Mr. F. Falling oh. up. Oh, I thought that might have it here. He might have it here. Oh, wow. Very Gets nice the ledge. Yeah. Okay, he's dead. Alright, 81%. Not too bad for uh, George. Mr. F, definitely. No. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah, we've done no. the same shit. Oh. It looked juicy. Oh, went for the shield grab. Oh. Really tempting is Martha to go for that. Oh, that, nice that was such a good reaction. And a nice tech. Oh, yeah. And very nice. Yeah, Inhales cleanly done. Finals. Good shit by George. All right, so we got a we got a big old classic seven one seven grand finals. We got him and Pale and Mushi. Uh, good shit from Mr. F though, coming out here getting third. Yes, no matter if you make it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Where put my bag? There it is. Oh, oh my god! I'll be right back, Jess. Yep, you're fine. Oh! Oh, baby! Alright, I'm okay. Oh my god!
My esteemed co-commentator is not with me, Jay Bob on the other side, but we got Mushi on the winner's side. Oh, that's what I need to do for the for the setup. They're already at it, and we're not even bothering with Falco. Mushi starting out with Falcon, probably gonna stick with Falcon for the whole set. They didn't have water bottles. They didn't have water bottles, but they had Gatorade. Yeah. We got some sugar water for my boy. I did. Oh, I feel so good. My throat was hurting a little bit. Okay, we're good. I brought my ID this time. We're not gonna go to the tavern afterwards, are we? I don't know. I think the boys might want to go home, who I rode with. Mm. Get you next good. week. Well, it'll be a normal thing that happens most of the time. Yeah. And I'll be fine. I'm just going to have more Chinese food when I get home, probably. Mm. I earned it. The talent gets to do that. Absolutely. But meanwhile, Empale playing hot, which I love to see. Oh, yeah. Person coming out of losers. Not even going to bother letting the person coming out of winners start off with any kind of momentum. Ooh, there's a momentum, though. Tattoo! Every time! Every time! I have got to stop talking about the game, but I'm supposed to commentate it. I like to see the uh, Falcon right from the start from Bushy there. Uh huh, exactly. I love that too. I also love how I remembered to put the uh, L for, you know, coming out of loser's side. Impressive. I forgot that just until they were starting to play. It's almost like I've done this before. Kind of. Okay, so the run back of winner's semis? No, right? wasn't this one of finals? Or was, was it really? Oh yeah, I think it was. I think yeah. you're right. Mm -hmm. And then went game five, reverse 3 0. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh no. I was winner semis. Yeah. So we're having a little trouble finishing this food tonight. And maybe that won't matter, and maybe it will. Let's find out. Who knows? This is the set that's gonna get the most views. It's gonna have like it's gonna have like 33 views. I think it'll be uh so crispy. I think it'll be teach. Um Teach against somebody. That's my guy. Teach and Hondo? Yeah, that teach, was a good set. teach Hondo. That's gonna be the most serious. Oh my god! Oh. That grab was crazy! Uh, yep. Another grab, even though you're throwing them off stage. That's crazy. Yeah, you're always open for the uh, DIN so you can get the drop zone there. George not giving it to him. Oh! Yeah, I think Mushi realized he took his jump and was hoping he'd drop low. Oh, speaking of IDs. Oh boy. Oh, for the special. Oh. Oh. She's looking a little tough to beat here. Mm. Proving to be very pesky with ledge guards. And if you are good at being hard to read on, on, on coming back as Falcon, mm -hmm. then you're in a great spot because Falcon has such a bad recovery. It's true. It's true. All good Falcons are really good at Falcon recovery. Oh, bad guy. Yeah, yeah catching George one. trying to dash away there. Was that? Oh, Mr. F? He might have, yeah, why? Oh, winner's pick? Yeah. Eh, first and second. <laughs> okay. Ooh. This has nothing to do with the set because I'm trying to actively avoid commentating cursing. Hada and I found out after doing 20 episodes of the weekly like roundup of Melee news, mm -hmm. we finally found out we have the same exact birthday. We're just one year apart. No shit. October 22nd. I was born one year earlier than him though, so I still win. Hell yeah. It's my birthday. In the world of yeah. birthday alts, I get the alt skin color that I want. Right, he's like the light colored yes. birthday boy. Yes, he has the light colored birthday boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
a lot of rolls there, but it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, the downer. And the platform height, tricky, but we're on the other side of the stage now. And the knee, the classic. Yeah. Really good not to panic from Mushi, because mm -hmm. a lot of the time you get put to, to you get put to ledge from the side B, and you panic because you're like, that's not an up B. Yeah, where's my up B? <laughs> but it kind of just works the same. Because they're not grabbing ledge after the up B, or after the side B from that right. uh, pipe. And we're living after a tipper at over 100%. That was pretty nuts. Really good DI from Mushi. Oh no. Wow, Mushi! Oh, I love it. He's gone for that twice now tonight. Yeah. I think I think he's seen that combo oh. online somewhere and been like, I want to hit that. <laughs> <laughs> or he's done it once and why been not, like... And why not hit it against yeah. Impale, who's oh, yeah. going to play second at this event if, if Mushi wins this set. Oh. Good placing for both of these players. Strong start. Strong start to their to their season. Mm -hmm. Mushi is mixing the shit out of George with his combo extensions. He's like half the time he's ending early, half the time he's like going for the extender. It's a. Uh, this looks fucking hard. I'm getting rolled by Mushi. Oh, ouch! That is game two in favor of Mushi. Yeah, Mushi looking real good. There's a, that, that sloppy a punch game that we were talking about is not here right now. You know how we're having, having like a lot of game fives earlier in top eight? Yeah. Mushi doesn't want any of that. Mushi wants a clean 3-0, oh, send yeah. everybody home before 10.30. Before I finish my rap? Yes. How's that rap working out for you? It's fine. <laughs> the same company. Oh. There's another one. The same company provides this place the food. Um, as provides my work there food, so I knew what I was getting. What is it? I didn't even bother seeing what you Chicken got. Caesar wrap. Oh, okay. It's like dry as shit and the chicken tastes weird, but I knew. Uh, I have an egg roll to look forward to when I get home. That's better. Uh, there's a there's a nice Chinese place that's nearby. No ads, but there's a, it's nearby where I live. So for those who know, you know. But there's a nice Chinese restaurant. We can support local businesses. Huh? We can support local businesses. Oh, we definitely support local businesses because they they especially this Chinese place. Like I said, if you live in, if you live near Mountville, just look it up. Okay, but oh oh that reverse soft knee into is that a down tilt? Is that another down tilt? Oh, three of them. Whoa. Oh, he's playing different. Oh my gosh. He's playing damn good. Oh. Mushi is playing like a Falcon mate, not as a Falcon secondary for Marvel. Oh yeah, this thing is this thing has existed long enough that he's getting there. Oh my god, the spacing Mushi. Woo! No, that he's was about to be an edge cancel down air. Just missed it. Tried by it that again. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh Mushi, He's playing hot. There's, Mushi, no, there's no way around it. Mushi is fully, fully aware of the fact that he's got a lot of, of a, got the longest leash he could ask for for somebody on the winner's side of Grands. Yeah. Two games and three games in the other, and that's GG's. It is what it is. Mushi played hot. GG's. Good shit, Mushi. Goddamn. He can't even be here every weekend. He can't even be here every time. But he's just going to show up and win each one every other week. Is that what's happening right now? Some late bracket 3-0s. That was nuts. You got turkey, ha! Huh? <laughs> that's a good that's a good tournament for table. This tournament was nuts for him. All right, let's do a little summary mm -hmm. of the bracket. Hit me with it. Yep. 3-0. Mushi with the quick, the nicest 3-0. So we got for upsets. The big one, of course, was table Rob Fox. Right. Table almost made something happen against uh, Mr. F there, too. That's crazy. So. Hondo over Teach is also a big one. This is a big deal here. You said this already, right? Yeah. Right. That's really cool. Yeah, I think the big ones, we got Hondo over Teach. We got table over Rob Fox. Um... Everything else, I think. In okay. Yep. Back. All good. And we are done for the night. For those of you who stay this long, just do the thing, score the points, play the melee.
Also, melee guys, um, you can take a mate mate. Uh, it's, it's the sponsor from Summit. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, like, yeah. Le like legit, actually. Get rid of them? Yeah, like seriously. Alright, have a good night. You too. Thanks, Thanks for coming. See you all next week.